Hello and welcome to Encore Esports, 538 Main Street, in New Rochelle, New York. Bumpy Dad joined by, of course, Salty Fun. Salty, hey. uh, tell us a little about, about these two players. So, um, I'm actually not too familiar with Uber Cheesecake. However, Toucan, I see quite a bit. He's actually hails from Melee. He's an Icy's player in Melee. A very solid Icy's player in Melee, I should add. And he's the... You, you're saying Ices, right? Ices, Ice Climbers. Ices, okay. Yes. Ice Climbers. Yes. Um, it's pretty even damage. That, well, uh, not even, but a little bit of a... Well, considering it's an Incineroar and that he can take a lot of damage before yeah. he really starts sweating, I'd say this is relatively That's my even. favorite Incineroar move, that side B right there, when you throw him into the... Uh, I guess we, the, the rake, that's the, the, the ropes. Throw him into yeah. the ropes. What's that even? It's not, that's not the Lariat. The Lariat is his neutral B. That one's the Haymaker? I'm assuming based upon the size of Ice Climbers, not a very heavy, not a very heavy character. Player. They're not as light as say like a Game and Watch or a Kirby, but definitely they are not the type of the character that can like take endless hits. Do, uh, do you think the too small v one big strategy is going to be beneficial here for Two Cam? What was that? Do you think the two smaller characters versus the one heavier character is going to be? beneficial for two can so it's not so much that like having a smaller hurt box is not necessarily that great against the because his hit boxes are pretty solid um you know, some some bigger characters can kind of struggle against small uh small guys because you know their moves like kind of end or earlier places and right as i say they're actually back out completely whips because of the height but nonetheless, I'm actually what I'm really excited for is to see Toucan do some of the advanced stuff that he can do with Ice Climbers. I, I, as a character, the whole archetype is so fascinating. He just cleans that stock up, stock up real quick. And we had a pretty even match for the for the beginning. Uh, it was tied at three stocks apiece, then just two. But now, uh, Uber on his Uber Cheesecake back on his last stock, and uh, it's kind of a little bit in a corner. You think yeah. he's uh, feeling the pressure at all? Uh, I mean, definitely, and playing against Ice Keys is extremely stressful. Playing as and against Ice Climbers can just be, oh my god, nerve-wracking. You lose your hair by the end of the set. Oh man, good job separating Nana. That's one thing I will say. Uber has been doing a great job of separating those two Ice Climbers. Yes. And then... Not allowing them to... Joined together for the for that yeah. swing hammer attack, however, all kinds of things. However, he's not doing a great job of killing off Nana because you can kill Nana before Popo, and that means that now instead of facing against two characters, you just face against one. But the fact of the matter is that it's like Nana has been it's similar surviving. to uh, oh my god, Rosalina and Luma exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like it is very similar philosophies, and like when you play against the characters, you should know how you kill Nana. Yeah, um, you're gonna want to attack one before you start attacking the other kind of. Well, scenario. yeah. Well, the big reason is because Nana has garbage defensive options. Which she's jacket just an AM. color is Nana? Pink. Thank in you. this case, uh, I knew that. I was just testing all of our <laughs> listeners. Oh man! And so now we still have just able to survive. Pixels being the difference there, but Incineroar has rage and getting very dangerously close to the edge. Oh yeah, the Lariat's still not doing it. 150%, you know, I was saying before how, you know, you need to kill Nana, but right now Toucan with just this single Stolo Sopo is still doing a lot of work. And we're and seeing right that there, right. the heaviness of Incineroar being the difference here and why he's, you know, he's at 146%, yeah, yeah. but he's... <laughs> you can't be heavy enough you, to laugh that. You, you can't, whenever these types of things happen, whenever you say, it's going to make a difference. It totally doesn't work in the favor of where you just said. Yeah, but I think that also reflects the sort of the dynamics between the two characters. That Ice Climbers has really good ways to end stocks early and effectively. When I see Ice Climbers play, it doesn't feel like they're struggling to get kills at like 150, 160%. I think that has more to do with the philosophy of how people play the character, where it's very, um, you know setup based you know they're like i'm going to desync the two of them so i could do these crazy combos to lead into the kill as opposed to just like i am going to safely space out and neutral and ed like edge you closer and closer towards a death and you know if you're uber cheesecake you have to feel good about how that match went in the first that's why you're still sticking with incineroar you yeah, yeah. feel that 
you know, it was just a matter of missing one or two hits. You could you could easily correct those mistakes in the second match. Oh, we're I... seeing right away that that is not the case. <laughs> I'll just take back everything I said. Oh my god, is this turning into like, this is turning into, he hasn't gotten touched yet. And he continues the string. Are we going to have an actual JV4 stock? I, my, oh, he's given up. No, don't give up, bud. Who had the stage counter pick? Was that oh. Uber on this one? Uh, Uber, pick? this was Uber's pick, and I don't necessarily agree with it. It might have been a comfort pick more than, you know, to deal with the character in front of him. Because right now, Toucan... Mm. Toucan has taken less than 4% damage in this entire match. <laughs> That's a little bit silly. Oh, and he goes the other way. I think, is he just done? No, no, no. Don't, don't he's, just not, he's not going to SD, but it, it, it seems like it could be pretty... Oh, and it keeps is, going. Is this what happened is, before? No, hit him one more time. Hit him one more time. My heart hurts. Ah, okay, there. How could you take damage? <laughs> I'm pissed at Toucan. He was... He... <laughs> like, how dare he how not? Can, you're so close <laughs> to, like, winning a match by only taking 4% damage the entire time through. Not uh, look at this. All of a sudden, here. he might lose this first stock. Think about the... Oh. Even to still two stock somebody <laughs> in any manner of competition is impressive. We uh, do I, have a crowd of people around the screen yeah. right now, just uh, watching what unfolded before our very eyes. Have you seen something like that? So it is. I, I have actually never seen a pure JV four stock in this game. Can you and it was looking explain like, to me what a so, JV four stock is? So just the so JV four stock. In, I could give you like the etymology of it, but what it means is that you win the game without taking any damage. Wow. So, you know, there's like a three stock, there's a two stock, and yep. there's like JV, like junior varsity. junior varsity. So, a junior vars, like a JV three stock is when you're at 2% and you haven't taken any damage. And since it's impossible to four stock anyone in this game because you only start with three stocks, if at the end of the game you have three stocks and 0%, that's a JV, JV four stock. stock. Very interesting. That was a <laughs> domination by, by uh, Toucan right there. Yeah, no, I, I, and that's the thing, like I was saying before, how Ice Climber players, it feels like they want to be doing stuff. They are, their character demands so much technically, and there's so much that they have to juggle that when they hit the opponent, they, it seems like they always have a game plan of to how to get the most mileage off of it, and we absolutely saw that there Do in that last game. Do you think that that was just a case of Toucan was out, outmatching him in that second matchup, or do you think that stage counterpick really mm. did make a difference, if you will? So, keep in mind that it was... Uh, it was Cheesecake's counterpick. He took him to FD. And I do think that Final Destination played a part. If you remember that combo that started off the game? Yes. If there had been platforms around there... They made, might have, maybe they, Incineroar could have survived that. Yeah, something he, along he wouldn't lines. have been able to combo him so reliably. Exactly. Anything like that. So I think that I think this is a lesson for you at home. Maybe don't counterpick an Ice Climbers 2 Final Destination. Especially if they know what they're doing like Toucan does. Who do we have next to you also? Uh, Not on the mic, just on the couch. Oh, uh, this is Mile. Oh, He's Mile! Not, okay, he yeah. was there the other day. He was, but he didn't... He Hi, Mile! He got four, yeah, he got fourth at the other tournament. You beat C, congrats. Yeah, that was pretty damn impressive the, the other uh, day. Welcome to Encore Esports Smashdown, everybody. 538 Main Street in New Rochelle, New York. Oh, this is the ultimate thanks. esports lab in all of Westchester, arguably all of New York. You're not going to find better place to surround yourself with Smash players and just general overall good people slash nerds. And <laughs> Remember that those two are mutually exclusive groups yes, though. You, can you will find good, good people and you will find nerds, but you will never find good nerds. Um, Toon Link versus a Fox matchup. Okay. And we have up Smash versus Cloud? Nope. Is this actually Loki? Lives. So this is local man Maddie, who is actually the Toon Link. I think they need to get those yes. uh, pictures reversed. Thank you very much. Uh, local yeah. man Maddie versus Just Live. I think I've seen Just Live before, but I do remember commentating a few local man Maddie matches mm -hmm. last year. He does he, Toon Link even in uh, Smash Ultimate. Uh, no, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm yeah, thinking of Brawl. No, this is Smash Four. Yeah, Smash he played 4. him in Smash Four. Yeah, in Smash Four, even still, like he uh, still played Toon Link. Obviously, yeah, able yeah, yeah. to translate those skills into the newest game. And uh, not so even, but we both had three stocks apiece, only 40 seconds gone in this match. Do you see anyone with a clear advantage at this moment? Uh, the one thing I'd say is that it feels like in the mobility department, Local Man Maddie is kind of running all over Just Slip, which is huge, considering that that is normally Fox's strongest suit. He is one of, if not the most mobile, tricky character in the game, but it right seems there. that right now, uh, Local Man Matty is, that's his strength that he's playing to, so 
Oh, and right as I say that, wow. that is one thing that... <laughs> that was a surprising stock take. He didn't... Uh, he, he barely had 100%. Takes one hit, 123, flies out of the arena. But we're back at zero apiece. Two stocks, two, two stocks. No yeah. clear advantage at this moment. It look it does look like Toon, Toon Link is uh, running around a little bit more, a little bit more stage presence, but yeah. it, 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 there's no distinct advantage in that sense. In, in, in damage being dealt out, in stocks being taken, it's fairly even. Well, the one thing I'd say is that when it comes to the disadvantage state, it feels that as soon as Maddie gets hit, he takes a lot of damage, which is natural. Is Fox yes. is really good at, you know, comboing. But beyond that, it's also like juggles. It's also putting him in the corner. It feels that... You know, that a single interaction, even though I think that overall Maddie's neutral has been stronger so far in this game, when as soon as uh, as soon as Justlip does get a single hit, he takes it as and far have, as he can, you and have there to be it. Really impressed with what what Justlip right did right there. Uh, local man Maddie, like you were saying, kind of dictating the pace there. Justlip sitting back, playing more defensive, letting J local man Maddie come to him, uses that to his advantage, takes that stock, and now oh, he has to But what a turnaround, Maddie! lands back on the stage and immediately double up here to kill off the top. I was about to write him off, but do not. This guy is still looking pretty good. Even though he's down about 60%, I have no doubt that he can close this game out if he gives him, like, if uh, if Just Live gives him the chance. And it's interesting because both these characters are pretty light dying at not fa relatively low percentages yeah, compared yeah. to what we were seeing the previous match, even for Ice Climbers. But mm -hmm. right now... This can go either way, and I wouldn't be surprised if this series goes three. Very possibly, but then again, I'd say that on the whole, the match has just been slowly getting more and more in Justlift's favor. Okay, but the Do we know if hits? there is a his <laughs> is there a history between these two? Have I they have, played each other before? I, have, I do not think so. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but look at my Maddie shakes his head as Justlift takes the first game. Solid conversion, ends up getting a dash attack to up air to close it out, and that means that... He has counter pick, and I'm wondering where he's going to go in terms of stage. And just like what we saw in the very first match of the previous series, this is a se this looks like you know could go either way. It just as well, just as much as just live one, the match could have gone in local man Maddie's favor. So the counter, the stage counter pick is going to be really important here for determining how the next two games play out and who moves on. And I think it's also interesting because the last game we saw, game one very even, game two not so much. And I one think of the that'll reasons, be very different here. But the reason why that was the case was because Toucan really adapted to what oh, Cheesecake was quickly. doing. And I'm wondering if that's the same thing, that slowly Just Live is adapting to Local Man Maddie's strategies Absolutely. and whether that gap will widen and widen or whether Local Man Maddie is going to be able to fix what he was doing wrong, really take a another approach and I think that the big thing that he needs to be doing this time around is getting a lot like a single hit dishing out tons of damage Fox is one of the most comboable characters in the game and he needs to be like really exploiting that if he wants to be you know keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with him oh wow what a parry good job from just live and this I like to say these guys are going right back and forth with each other yeah it, it, and, uh, I, again, I said it before, would not be surprised to see this go three. Uh, the stage counter pick, not really working in, in local man Maddie's favor at the moment, but it, I mean, that being said, it's not working in just Liv's favor either. Yeah. It's kind of still very neutral at the moment. Yeah, no, it definitely does still feel neutral, but keep in mind that on town and city, those platforms can have different layouts, and it might be that he's looking for perhaps the final destination variant. Ooh, that up oh, wow! <gasps> Oh my god. I can't believe he just SD'd by <laughs> those those directional input buttons. Man, they'll get ya. And also if you notice local man Maddie, he did the New York thing where your opponent SDs and he shake you shake your head. You're yeah, just like you just I like, don't want uh, I don't want to win like that. Yeah. I mean, you'll take a win how you can get a win when money's involved. Oh yeah, but no, you once you walk away. It's it's like <laughs> the it's like the Toronto Raptors versus Golden State Warriors. Sure you wanted to beat healthy warriors but you'll take the victory either way i definitely got the reference you did thank you so we have a one stock advantage but local man maddie just above 100 percent just live being be edge guarded to death oh. right now okay what an amazing recovery right there and yeah. really good job recognizing that he was trying to use his his side smash but jumping off the ledge and then going right back so that kind of tricks him into using yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So, whoop. 
just goes in for the up smash. I, so it feels like local man Maddie has slowed down the pace. Exactly. As we said before. Taking control of this of this match. And part of that is good job evening it up there. But the thing is, one of the reasons because Not of that. Not evened up, it's 2-1. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, is that... Local Man Maddie has sort of had a lead this entire game. Exactly. And one of the big reasons is that there was this unfortunate SD. So even if he does take this game, it isn't necessarily very indicative of how an ent uh, how the set will end, you know? And y you wonder, is that SD, if, if Local Man Maddie moves on and wins this series, you're going to have to look back and think that that SD was the turning point in this yeah. entire series. Yeah, it really does. But at the same time, it's not just that Local Man Manny got lucky with a single SD. Oh, yeah. Because he has changed his play style as well. I think that, you know... Adapt, overcome. These two have de are definitely playing oh, to yeah. their players, not just playing to their strengths. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at this. The way that he's using a little bit more projectiles. He's running in and shielding, yeah. knowing that Fox's grab game kind of underwhelming and so the worst that could happen to you if you run out in the shield ooh, ooh. and we're getting some juggles going on here we're just wondering if this if it's going to be too little too late for just live oh wow the forward smash from across the unfortunately, stage unfortunately it is and we have a tied up series we're going to a game three folks now something i want to point out about that i think that was the second or third time that Basically, Local Man Maddie just threw out a smash attack while Just Live was trying to run in on him and, you know, just knocked him. Like, like that's how he got this big damage, Get this big kill. Get him to over-pursue, if you will. Yeah, and I think it's like it's a way of stuffing him out. And that's something that Just Live, if you, that's happened to you, if that happened to you twice, you get smash attacked while trying to run at your opponent when they're in the corner. It's an you adjustment have to, you have to make. You have to be like, okay, why is that happening? Am I being too like? Am I not throwing out many options when am I'm I running being too at him? Aggressive, am, something is like my that. timing predictable? You have to start thinking about this sort of thing. And I mean, of course he will. He was playing super well game one. I hope that in this game three he can remember sort of what went wrong game two. Before we start, the who you got? Who do I have winning this? Ooh. I got local man Maddie. I think he's. I think the. I think that SD is just a, a, a mental thing that might be sitting in Just Live's head right now. Mm. You know, I actually, as much as I love local man Maddie, I think I might have my money on Just Live, uh, as long as he's able to not have another sort of catastrophic thing like that SD happen to him. Yeah. And I mean, that's what we're seeing right now. Is I, okay. He's starting to be the mover now. You know, yes. in game he's, one, he's dictating pace and making local man Maddie defend against his moves as opposed to allowing local man LMM to actually make his moves. It's all in response to what Just Live is doing. Oh yeah. And he just runs in and up smashes. Wow, what a great call out. Local man Maddie dropping shield at the worst possible moment gets hit. And now, oh, this could be even big damage, but. And that was one of those dash attacks you mentioned earlier where going into it, you know, it, it previously in the previous match, LMM had used that as 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 like a ploy to lure him yeah. in, attack him. This time d didn't work. You know, Goes the, to just lift advantage. I will actually say the extra interesting thing about that is that I feel like the reason why Maddie was sh shielding so much this time around was because he's more scared. Yes. Last game he had this lead, he felt more comfortable, and so he would just throw out maybe these more riskier options and they would work. But now he's backed into the corner, literally and you know metaphorically. If he doesn't figure out some way to even up the stock count at the very least, this game could just disappear. That and is there you just saw that speed that Fox has oh, was yeah. the difference maker and why he took that stock. All right, Maddie has to keep his head in the game. It's two stocks to one. Not insurmountable, but certainly he needs to be playing absolutely excellently, especially because Just Live has shown he is a absolutely a very good player. I think that this an is edge guard might be necessary. This Something is going to, to have to be stock. one of those scenarios where you're going to have to take advantage of your m opponent's misstep. You're, oh, yes. You're, you're playing well, both, but both of them are. So it's going to be who's going to be the person that misfires, accidentally puts the wrong button, something along those lines. And whatever that is, that's going to be the difference in this match. Okay, I, maybe he's getting a little bit overconfident himself. Honestly, at this pr at this point, I think it's fine to go for something like that. A riskier, you know, hard read. You have the one stock advantage. You might as well go for the risk while you can afford to have it. Now we got this, the extra fact of now, he's even more scared. Look at this, local man Maddie being extra patient, trying to air dodge past him, not challenging him in the slightest. Just, you know, desperately 
you know, get his footing back. But he has been given no opportunity. 135%, and there is still two stocks sitting on Just Live, and he closes the game out with a back air. Great stuff to him. That's that SD in game two did not affect him. He takes the series, and he's going to be moving on. And what a bracket. good recovery by Just Live. And you also have to acknowledge that he was dominating the edges in that final match. Oh, yeah. he, there was no opportunity for LMM to actually make a solid recovery because oh, yeah. Fox's speed made it impossible for him to land anywhere on that map. Yeah, no, he was, he was, on he that was stage, trapped, no, he was trapped at the ledge, he was trapped above him. Not only that, but like when Fox ends up off stage, that's when he's at his weakest. That's when you, you go off and you mess with him. And it felt like he never even had the chance to do that. Like, local man Matty was just constantly like one foot teetering on the edge. Just amazing pressure from Just Live. And I'm really excited to see what else he can do. Next, coming up, we actually are going to have Fair to Knee versus Fang. So a little bit of backstory between these two players. Fair to Knee, I believe, is actually FGC player. So I think Street Fighter? Maybe Dragon Ball Fighters? FGC? What is uh, Fighting game community. So, ah, okay. you know, you know, basically Not every fighting game is just Smash. Smash. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I've seen some really him do some really cool things, and he's playing against Fang, who is, as a person, one of my favorite people in the scenes. He's a co-caster of mine. Uh, I believe he is just maining Ness in this game, and he has been able to do some really cool stuff, and I'm really excited to uh, have him here. I think it's the first time we've had him, if not for Ultimate, and the first time in a very long time. So, uh, in the yeah. first In the first two uh, series, we see Toucan moving on, as well as um, Just Live. Now we have Fang and Fair to Knee. Uh, could be, you know, I have, I'm have, i running out of things to say currently. 538 Main <laughs> Street, Encore Esports. This is the place that you want to be. Best video game lab in oh, all of Westchester, team arguably team all of o New York. Uh, oh, this guy. Yeah, Blame we got him. that guy. It, yeah, <laughs> it is his fault that I'm here. Uh, he's my uh. dad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm Bumpy Dad, he's Salty Fun. Welcome to Encore Esports. Thank you for joining yeah. us on the Twitch stream. Uh, so, let's give a little... Also, in terms of the dynamic, Fang is a, has a lot of history in Smash Bros. Played a lot of Smash 4, had some really good wins in Smash 4. And in Ultimate, I think he's also been doing very well. So, he is the favorite going in here. But I think he's probably not familiar with what Fairtony is going to do. Fairtony, I saw him at one point playing Ganondorf. I don't know if he's still playing that character. Uh, if in fact he is, that could be interesting because Ganondorf is a, as a is a character that notably can steal wins. He's just so big, and you know we were saying before how oh you know taking advantage of your opponent's mistakes is huge. It's so easy to take advantage of mistakes with Ganondorf because you hit him twice and they're dead. Yeah. Wh wh who was the? Uh, I, I can't remember the character that we were seeing the other day where every time it, he delivered one single hit. 40% damage would be dealt I think out. it was uh, C's DK, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. D DK, uh, the, the bigger characters. Oh. And we, d we are seeing exactly what you said, Ganondorf versus Ness. Very interesting, two very different oh, characters. Yes. <laughs> as Almost as different as you can be, if you think about it. They both got eyes. <laughs> Doesn't Ganondorf Although one have, of like, them is another One of them eye. is, like, significantly more soulless than the others, <laughs> you know? Somehow Ganondorf is the one that looks like there's like actual, you know, life behind his eyes. No, yeah, no JV4 this time. JV4 yeah. stock, I mean. You can also say JV4. You guys. Ooh. Get it. Yeah. So th one of the things about Ness, Ness has some of the most cool and creative movement of any character because of his uh, his down B, which is almost like this pseudo shine, as you're seeing right there. Wow. Use it to what just maneuver around the opponent so well. That was ridiculous. It, 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 you think you you think at, with Ganondorf being a heavier character, bigger character, <laughs> wouldn't die at such a low stock <laughs> percentage, but yeah, you so, laugh. No, you're so. right. No, you're right. Ganondorf is very heavy, and he shouldn't be dying. But Ness kills. Ooh, Ness is I a see, murder boy. You, you saw exactly what <laughs> you saw exactly what Fang was trying to do there. Oh yeah. Had had Ganondorf off the ledge, was trying to get that down spike, but a really good recovery by Fair to me. Oh, man. And so this is the thing about Ganondorf, that I feel like Fang's been dominating the entire time. Yes. But like when you look at the stocks, if Fang gets hits once, this game is even. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I saw that sword ta attack oh. just then, and I was just, whoa. What? Oh, okay. I mean, oh. fine. <laughs> <laughs> that, you, sure. you said it. <laughs> 
Uh, and yeah, no. Now, honestly, I feel like this game is even. Yes. Uh, th perhaps the the reason why it might not be is. Oh, <gasps> what a gem! I love that move. <laughs> I hope I hope that's how the final stock is taken. Uh, I don't know if it, it still takes won't. the first stock always, but I, I cannot believe he got that. I was like half exaggerating when I said it was even, but like as you saw right there, oh, oh my You're God, he's mad. We are just seeing Fang string together combo after combo after combo right now. Not giving a chance to Thertini to actually get a hit in on that last stop. Very similar to how the first part of the match looked. Yeah, so... The <laughs> you know you know the uh, the thing? I don't know if you can hear it. The crowd is so hard behind Fair to me right now, despite the fact he just kind of got dominated in that last stock because of what he did right before that. That yes. down B to flame choke. Oh my god! I, I I've never seen somebody actually land that in tournament before. It's be it's a beautiful thing. I remember doing it one time in a in a friendlies match, and, <laughs> and someone and it and it knocked my stuff. It knocked me and the other guy out of the match, and he just looked at me and said, "Thanks." <laughs> Because it was like it was like an all for it was like an yeah, all, yeah like, like five first. people playing exactly, all at the same yep. time and you're like and you so can, we're both got the first nothing. two dead now. <laughs> stage counter pick. What are we thinking about this? Hmm. Uh, is, do you think the stage is going to make a big difference in this kind of matchup the, the, so where the, the characters is, are so drastically different? So I'd say the stage could make a difference purely because Ness, very combo based character, and these platforms mean that he will have different combos. Not necessarily better, not necessarily worse. But Ooh. he'll have to use, like, I feel like Ness has to... Oh, Unfortunate. no. Unfortunate. We're yeah. seeing a lot of... F it's not an SD, but just, you know, button all misdirection. It's a forced error, you know? Yeah, it's, it, like, it's, not like, it's not like somebody's, you know, just like, I'm just going to run off the edge and die. It's because, good strategy uh, by Fang because it it takes the stock. You didn't... Uh, it, it made him second guess, think about it for a second. Yeah. Because of that second of thinking, loses it loses stock. Yeah. No, no, but he evens it up really quick. I, God, I... Keep forgetting that Ganon takes stocks in in, in microseconds. <laughs> and you're we're seeing, oh, we're seeing the use of projectiles still in this one right now. Fair to me, <gasps> he's doing a, a lot. He's dead. Oh, and just as I was saying it, fair to me, kind of making adapting to the projectile use by Fang, making him defeat him in other ways, like yeah, how we just yeah. saw there. It was and that, like that's one of the things about Ganondorf. His, rec his recovery is so kind of just bad that he needs his jump when he's off stage. And he didn't even burn his jump when he was off stage, Ooh. but Fang carried him out there. And how is this game like even again? Oh. Why does this keep happening? Ha! He's dead! No, <laughs> no wow, he's not! He's still alive. <laughs> PK Thunder! <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh, this is big damage. It, you're just waiting for the next Ganondorf hit so it can be one stock apiece. Oh, But it's no. not going to happen. Fairtony stands up knowing that he just sec again in this match. Two well, that times. time, that was definitely, uh, that was all thanks to Fang. That was yeah. not an SD. He, beautiful placement of the PK Thunder, using the tail of it to just barely, like, knock him down. And there was nothing he really could have done. Ganondorf has one of the worst recoveries in the game, as you clearly see there twice in that game, too. He basically lost because either he couldn't go far enough or he just, like, couldn't you really deal with somebody trying to mess with him, you know? And you don't think about it as a good aspect of ledge guarding, but that's exactly what it was. It was oh, yeah. it was Fang knowing how to play the map and knowing how to, with with the, because of the size of the map, guard both sides, not allowing that's Ganondorf true. to get a it single being, second it, of recovery. It being a smaller stage also, you remember, like, he hit him with forward air kind of in mid-stage, and it ended with Ganondorf almost in the blast zone. Exactly. You know? Like, he was able to drag him off stage so much more easily. Um, and next, we are going to be getting Chess versus Huantan Hori. I don't believe these guys, these guys may have faced off, but not recently, last time. No, they were we both at them. UD this week, but yes. they did not meet in bracket. Um, I don't think. Don't mind me. I'll be back in one second. Don't you dare. Ow. Um, yeah, so I'll give a little bit of background on these these players in case you didn't know. Um, yeah. Uh, so Chess, one of the... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. uh, so Chess, one of the really solid players here in Westchester. He came from Melee, actually, where he was a Peach player uh, and has, you know, 
just grinded out his Palutena, and he is definitely one of the scariest players to go against. He's facing off against Wonton Warrior, who has a little bit more Smash, like Smash 4 legacy to him. He was a fantastic Little Mac main back in that game. Now he's committed to the Link, and it's been going pretty well for him. Uh, what was that? Uh, I apologize for that. Um, so, oh my god, they're so angry. Wait, who won? I didn't see. The most intense part of the game, the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no, I always, I don't know whether it's rude, but whenever I lose rock, paper, scissors, I get like fake really mad. <laughs> it's like, it's BS, it's all RNG. It's terrible. <laughs> it's what an awful game, and I just walk out of the menu. <laughs> You uh, win! Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> also, like, screaming at my opponent when I win rock, paper, scissors. Just get out of played! <laughs> and they're like, the game hasn't started yet. What are you doing? <laughs> um, but, in terms of matchup between these two players, I'm excited to see what happens. I believe the two of them played. Let me actually get a quick, uh, let me get some quick info from Eye in the Sky. All right, so our um, Eye in the Sky has just informed us that they have played. It is actually 2-0 in Wonton's favor, but both sets very close. Yeah. So definitely, it's the sort of thing where Chess really wants to win. Yeah. It's something where he's a, I'm not going to say prideful, he's very intense. He really, he's, he's all about the competitive spirit. Um, and so if he feels like he should be able to win a game, he will play like he feels like he should win the game, you know? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, two zoner characters? So Palutena, not not exactly a zoner. She has the ability to zone because she's very, like, dynamic and balanced. You know, she has explosive yeah. flame and, you know, the uh, auto reticle, so she can play that way. But she also has this great speed about her. It's what makes her such a good character is the fact that she can basically play any way that it's really called for. Um, but, you know, in respect to them both being zoners, you could see that uh, Chess is not scared to duke it out, like, you know, zoner battle. Of, I'm also going to throw my projectiles the same time you are. He just grabbed him before third hit of up smash, because he is uh, cojones of steel. He's magical. All right, finishing that off, Wonton Warrior can at least take a little bit of a breather. Um, Palutena isn't necessarily going to be able to kill him super easily at this percent. And he can maybe do a bit more of a pokey change, you know, like, just get damage here and there. Oh, he has no jump. He's, oh, my God. I don't know what that recovery was, but I guess he was anticipating trying to hit him low. I don't know. Everyone gets hit by that. Good old turnaround. Yeah, that turnaround upbeat. It hits from behind and brings the opponent in front, which is towards off the stage. It's it's weird, man. I'm trying to get that two frame down tilt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just. I wonder if it's maybe not as safe as it normally is. You know, Link having the. Okay, never mind. Getting no, that's the, down the way to tilt go. Forward. It's also a really good tool for two. Two framing since it just stays out for a pretty long time. Yeah, no, it stays out for a long time. She can also be very far back, which means that she doesn't necessarily risk getting hit by, you know, the hitboxes of an up B. Yep. Uh, okay, but now Wonton is the one who has the ledge control. Up Bs, I don't know if that was necessarily the best option, but it's what he chose, what he committed to, and it seems to be okay. Uh, finishing off things with a Nair, he is once again in that position where he just wants to be getting little bits of damage because. Any, like, I'm, like a big lead would be really good for him, especially because he can drop the stock at any instant. Ooh, nice recovery. Ooh, the dash attack just overpowering the grab. And now we have, as Wonton said before, super even games. This is neck and neck. Yeah, there's about 76% between them. But keep in mind that Palutena's combos can easily dish out that much. Let's see how much Chess can get right here. Continuing it. Okay, Wonton seems to finally get back down to the ground. And maybe Forward that was... Oh. Mm. Good DI. Doesn't lead to the end of the game. 
It's amazing DI. This isn't really... Yep, there you go. Yeah. That link up B out of shield, so good. People do not realize how ridiculously good that link up B out of shield is. Like, it kills, it hits on both sides. It's just like spacing safely on Link's shield is very difficult. The yeah. point of things that you're normally used to being okay with throwing out, you know, just like, oh, I'm going to throw out this safe move over here that there's no way I can get punished. Perfect and then you just spacing. <laughs> Freaking Ren's time in space. Covers most of the middle of the stage. <laughs> covers most of the known universe. Yes. <laughs> just like zooms. You remember in the World of Light trailer? Yeah. When it <laughs> zooms out and the light's getting bigger and bigger and it's, that's Link's up B. And then there's the galaxy and it's just <laughs> swallowed. Goodbye, everybody. Everyone is gone. <laughs> Setting up with a good solid grab to 26%. Yeah. I'm um, really liking that creative pressure. It's like sort of thing where like even though Chess can see it coming from a mile away, he's like, oh god, I'm about to get hit by this boomerang also. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh. Ooh. Not much he can do about it as we're seeing. Just getting more and more damage. I, okay, Wonton's use of Boomerang right now has actually been so good. And you really have to pay attention to that Boomerang, because if you do tunnel vision too much, that Boomerang is going to come back there and tap you in the ass. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, no! Misses the tech! That's heartbreaking. I know. And Wonton, he's been... Ooh. That's pretty heartbreaking too. You can see Chess being has upset. Been restored. Yeah. It, you know, usually when you see a player get upset over, you know, immediately losing a stock like that, uh, it's because they had an entire game plan. You know, just like, all right, I have a stock lead. I am going to now have like, you know, be able to play more patiently. I've realized that when he gets aggressive, he does this, and then just in the middle of your thinking process, you die, and you're like, are you kidding me? You didn't even see the flow charts I had. <laughs> <laughs> I had diagrams! My pies! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am loving the way that Wonton hit the time. He's timing his moves. Somehow that arrow didn't hit because fine, okay, but. And even if he does miss a combo, it's still perfect shield pressure. Yeah, no, I, I really commend Wonton for his. It's the pressure right now that he's putting yeah. on. You're right. Another up just walling is not off most of the stage from chess. Wonton, he, you know, wants to play patient, but if he can take this stock right now, especially after having, like, if you think about it, uh, chess hasn't taken a stock yet this game. Oh, yeah. Because it was sort of the, uh, the forced error. Is that enough? No, he's just going to pummel until release. I'm 169. Sheesh. That's actually a ton of rage. That's so scary. Like, now as soon as Wonton's gotten hit, this is looking like he might die. Are oh. you kidding me? <laughs> I I am blessed with knowledge. No I am cursed. To, no one expects the explosive flame. You always should, though. You always should expect the explosive I mean, flame. Because there's no risk for Palutena to just throw it out. It's such a good move. since Such it's, a good move. It throws up, so it gives you room for combos. You can cho you could choose how far it is. Y you can choose the spacing. It lasts forever. Like, explosions, I don't know if you know this, explosions don't last that long. No. Explosions usually just explode, you know? Yes. They don't stick around for, like, 200 frames. Like, if an action hero was walking away from Explosive Flame, they would be in by the credits by the time the move actually ran out. <gasps> Is he oh. alive? He's alive! Oh, he got it. All right, he might have messed up the one earlier, but this time around, at least he's uh, being very clean with those recoveries. He needs to be right now. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> perfect DI. Oh, man. And down tilt is too far away to actually combo. This might be... Nah, no way. No, it's gone. Yeah. Ooh. Wonton, definitely, I mean, not showing it, but you have to be a little bit upset. He was up by so much yeah. at that second stock, and he also has a deed the first stock. But keep in mind that at the end of that, it, it really felt like Chess just found his footing. Yeah. It wasn't like he was just handed a win. Um, and now, yep, shaking his head. 
Chess is ready to finally get this win on Wonton Warrior, but, you know, I've been seeing Wonton do a lot of really good stuff lately, and he wants to continue that momentum. He just beat C earlier this week, yep. which was a really good win for him. And, you know, ride momentum when you can. Barely jumping away from that up air. Getting clipped by that could have been huge. And again, Wonton just shutting off the rest of the stage from chess. Oh, extra damage. I think he wanted the grab release a little bit quicker. Yep. So that he could actually combo off the boomerang. But nonetheless, look at all of these hits he's landing. However, it you know, he's landing all these hits, but each of these hits individually aren't doing that much. No. Like, look at the game's even. Even though I feel like Wonton has literally hit him four times as many. Granted, most of that was Hobbles. <laughs> this could be big! Goes for a back throw, just putting him off stage. This is a very scary situation. Oh, oh my god, that down tilt sending him way out there. He messes up the bomb recovery again. I feel like also at that point he didn't need to go for the bomb recovery. No. He fast fell because he really wanted to do it. And I, I definitely understand the merit of you know wanting to just commit to it because in that situation probably is the best option. Yes. Uh, the quick recovery, the chance of maybe going to ledge or recovering high. Oh, that was so oh. tricky. That was so slick. And now, this time, it's going to be Wonton who has to mount a comeback. Oh, 90% already, and he's off stage. And the ledge play has been so great from Chess. We haven't seen that up smash until now. Really good job just busting out the options that, you know, we're not expecting. And definitely Wonton wasn't either because he got hit by it. And Wonton also is doing an amazing job at applying pressure to Chess. Even from a disadvantaged state, he went from right side of the screen and pressure chess all the way to the left. <laughs> I also have to commend chess's pressure. I mean, look how tiny Wonton shield has been, and that's going to do it? No, Link just heavy enough to survive. And oh, good use of the bomb right there. The bomb. Again, he's living 154%. That <laughs> could have killed him. Uh, I think he knows when he would die. Probably. Wow, that up air didn't land? Trapped on ledge, let's see if he can finish off. Oh, he Ooh. drops shield at the last second. Gets hit by that Palutena Nair, and now Wonton has to make up not too much of a comeback, because they're even. Oh, Chess with the surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's face. actually the second time that's happened to Chess this set. Remember last game, he yeah. like got that, you know, took the stock, and then just died immediately. <laughs> and that time he was at like 100, not like 60. Yeesh. And these neutral games are very even, just barely somebody going into advantage there. Yeah. I'm, I'm really liking the disadvantage, at least from this stock, from Wonton. Feels like this time around he's not getting hit by this huge damage like he was before. And now that he's in control, is that enough to do it? Oh. It is. Oh, Chess upset about that, that loss, but Wonton is going to be moving on in winner's bracket. Yep. Oh shoot, they saved the replay. <laughs> oh no. All right, I think I'm probably going to be hopping off for just a second. Uh, so I will be back on the mic in just a bit. Thank you guys so much. Oh, okay, now I guess I'm just gonna have to awkwardly scoot off here. Instead yeah, of having like a smooth scene transition, I'm just gonna have to. Oh, yep, Salty's gone. Salty's gone. He's melting. We back. Bumpy Dad at M Gideon Nine. Bumpy Dad at M Gideon 9. G I D E O N. Rashana, I just ask for patience.
because I'm not the most knowledgeable Smash player. Trust me, me neither. I'm terrible at this game. Then we're gonna we're gonna be just fine here. Huh? Oh. Uh. G-I-D-E-O-N. Number nine. Hold on, let me just show you a picture of this shit. Cause like, oh, my bro. Ah, oh, what's here? Got the Iona boys coming through from Mario. You already know Alex. what it is. Y'all will see me on the mic later tonight, but I haven't. I feel like I haven't commentated on Encore for a while. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome, and Maddie, on the mic. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Ah, it's, not, it's good to be back. I've been back in a while. You kill me because you're just like, take the silence on stream. I gotta go commentate. <laughs> hey, no, 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 bro. I saw him. I'm like, nah, I'm not missing this game again. And ooh, wait, this is a tough one. Last time they played, I think KB won, but I don't remember how much. Yeah. How much. Um, but let's get right into this shit. Yeah. Let's get right into this. Mega Man versus Mario on what other stage versus other than PS2. This is this is where Mario lives. He lives he, here. Yeah, he lives he, here. He's an actual house. Pokemon master, even though he doesn't play Pokemon today. <laughs> but um, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Re Mega Man versus Mario, yeah. who I still think Mario. I don't know because of like its combos aren't as free as they used to, and Mega Man like actually works as a character in this game. Yeah. Oh my God, that Ooh, was nice. I was nice catching his uh, coming on the ledge. Um, but I still, th I still, th I say this matchup even or Mario slightly wins. I don't see a reason for Mega Man to win this matchup. Yeah. Since uh, Mario still has like Mario still has all the things that made him good in Smash Four. He still has great aerial mobility, great, great aerial mobility, amazing all-around combo skills, a, a, amazing all-around play styles, um, amazing combos, especially on heavy fast bars yeah. like Mega Man. It's um, it's kind of like the Smash Four thing, where like Mario kind of dumped on Mega Man, but in Smash Four, he dumped on him. He made the K he, like the reason Mega Man never won a major. Yeah, he barely did. But this game, you know, Mega Man's a lot stronger of a character. A lot stronger. His moves work. Back air connects. Forward air kills. Exactly. He's a lot better working Ooh, moves. Ooh, nice catch. sniper at the yeah. forward smash. Mario has Taking a him out. pretty... I, the, well, I was, was going to say he has a comfortable Ooh, game, but... Ooh, Leech, you coming in clutch for his life. That would have sent him straight back. I don't think that would have killed, but it would definitely send him straight back in disadvantage. Yeah. It's, um... It's just saying, like, Ooh, yep, yep. that was out. scary. I, I mean... When Mario, you, uh, when Sal Justin does that, I, I can't call him Mario because there's another Mario on the stream. When Sal Justin uses like that, I love that mix up. Um, <laughs> let me let me say it. When he does that, it's like a really quick out of shield option because it's, yeah. like, it's six frames. Yeah, that comes out because like you can like jump to like, cancel the shield and then just up smash and do that. It's, Boom. This is my it's option, but it, it kind of nice. like changed it. That yep. The, ooh, I'm oh, surprised. Up, it's stale. He used that three times. Already, yeah, yeah. And it hasn't hit him with another move to like refresh it. Also, I think this stage is big, like in terms of. Oh no, the ceiling is big on this stage. Yeah. So, so it's like, I mean, I, actually, so, I don't know. Sometimes I believe that. Sometimes I don't believe it. Just because, like, I see a lot of people be living too high from up to top. What was that? Why did that cancel yeah. the up smash? Why, Mario? You, uh, yeah, this Mar character's broken. I'm sorry. Now nah, I'm playing. But like, ooh, nice oh, berry. and yep. jump right into the back air. Wow, I almost killed too. Yeah, I know. He's still, Mario still. Yeah, he's always supposed to stock. Yeah, he's still he had the nice ooh, cap with the nice. anti air metal blade into the forward aerial. Taking Sal this boy straight out of here. Sal just have a very comfortable lead right now. Very comfortable. This Sal is looking so different from last week. Last week, um, not last week. It was like a week or two ago when they played. Last time they played at least. It wasn't on stream. It was awful. Oh. Wow. Woo! That was uh, he tried to grab him, but bro, that up smash was saucy. <laughs> Finally closes out that first stock for uh, <laughs> Salads. <laughs> that was dumb quick. Oh my god! He was, he was desperate. Dude. He was like, I can get the stock off. Not even dude. desperate. I was like, I'm tired of this. Get <laughs> out my face. <laughs> Give me that stock. We playing a new game. Let me combo you. Yeah. Which Mario still yeah. denying? Salads still denying. Run up there? Nah, uh, that ain't. If it was straight ahead, that would have killed him. Oh, and just do it back here. Yeah, two stock. And Sal just that takes was, that. That was that was very very dominant from Sal. Bro, that was such a just convincing game. Yeah. Stopped him from aerial approaching. This, bro, how many times did he get grabbed? I think he only got grabbed like once that whole match. Yeah. He's sick. Yeah, he did. He, he only was, got grabbed like once the whole like, match. He was like, "Don't put your Italian hands on me. Don't touch me. You filthy plumber. I know you don't wash your hands. <laughs> Disgusting mushroom eater. 
crazy pants. Not having any of that. Not having. I'm, I'm a robot, but it still can't get expected. But like, ooh, battlefield. Interesting. This works out. This is still uh, at this stage for them. I say it's completely even because battlefield is also one of Mega Man's. Still, I still say it's one of Mega Man's best. Mega Man's best stage. And it's also for a combo like a ladder heavy yeah. character like Mario. Yeah. Well, he's like La half ladder la ladder heavy. But if, like, if, if Mega Man lives on PS2, this is where Mario lives in a sense. Oh, Mega Man's still gonna live longer than stage. No, no. I'm Even though, like, like Kevin goes more. I mean, that game went for a lot of up smash, but he's more of like a four smash like Mario if anything. Yeah. Nice cat right there. You, you fool. You fool! <laughs> you, you fool! <laughs> You've fallen into my trap! You <laughs> jumped during the up air! Oh, that's unfortunate. Yo, can I get a yikes? Yeah, that's a, like, that's a bad one, yeah. Can I get. Oh was, my did he not God. have a jump or he must have lost No, he, ha he didn't land since, like, uh, he, I think he's like he didn't land after the up yeah, air. Yeah, and he probably thought he had a jump. And he just, Mario just, and Sal just, just pushed him off stage, bro. There was no way. Oh my god. That's, a, that's very unfortunate. But let's see if uh, Creepy can bring this back. No, he, it's Mario. He can definitely bring yeah. it back. Ooh. Oh, oh, the hitbox extension. Wow, yeah. The downer extended his hitbox Yo. extension. <laughs> I like that. Something. I like that. All right, we're back, we back in this. We're back in this. See, that's the thing about Mario. He can just bring that back yeah. any way you can. That's He's sick. like, oh, just take his dunk right now. Like, it's like, it's back just to take even, this. Ayo, your yeah. hand is there? All right, I'm extended with my oh, hand. This, this could be scary. He has it on my ledge. Mega Fox. Man doesn't really get, like, yeah. Had to roll out of the pressure. Mega Man doesn't really love being on ledge, so. Uh uh. And Mario I mean, he has options to get out of the, off the ledge with like Leaf Shield, but like Mario it's keeping him on the ledge with yeah. the up air struggling. Yeah. Puts him on the edge of forward smash! That was really, really sick. Yo, so KV in SD, right? It's a, yeah, right? <laughs> oh my god, Creepy just that was turned so on. so sick! Oh my Yo. god. Oh, right, you're, you're bold, you're bold. Don't jump. <laughs> Stop jumping oh. doing that. Why is he getting necked by all these forward smashes? I'm upset. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, yo, Mar I <laughs> freaking Mario has a forward smash, and Megna has a forward smash. Yeah, like, right? Hold one of catch one of these. <laughs> Someone's gonna get hit. That's a fact. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh, almost killing. Nice work back here. Not enough, though. Not enough to kill this? No. Not that back here again, sending yeah. him right off stage, but that is stale. It's not try gonna kill this time. Try, try to just keep on ledge. Give him a lot of damage over here. Uh, the ledge trapping coming in from Sal's right now is immaculate. Yep. Keeping him over there. Now we're back in neutral. Nah, we're not back in neutral yet. We're still just like trying to push the advantage. That was smart. Ooh. Going for that six point, going for that up smash right there out shield. No. Forward hair just nipping Mario by the skin, yeah. by the hair of his mustache, bro. Just sends it real quick. And now these capes are getting a lot more prominent by KV. Not getting metal bladed for free anymore like he was last game. Yeah. He's kind of reflecting it too much, so he can't really use it. I sense. mean, it's like the point is like it's better to like reflect it than get hit by it. The yeah. last thing you want, because even like even if like you're far away, Mega Man is fast enough to still get it confirmed from that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, really, Sal just has to be really careful right here to like um so do been, what he they, can. So I mean, he got that second sock pretty like he, he, he's playing around. He, he's playing around with it a bit too much, but now KV and he has no reason to approach, forcing Sal to approach, attacking on percent yeah. little by little. One up smash for or just like a fully spaced forward smash will do this just quick, just well enough, or even a back air too. Yeah. Now Kevin has to be careful; he doesn't find himself off stage, but he knows Sal just edge guarding is nothing to sneeze at. It's really, it's really good. We kind of just like taking his time. Like he, he has he, no reason to yeah, approach. No yeah. reason to approach. He has a lead, sitting comfortably. He knows. He, he knows he can blow. He can blow Mega Man up. Yeah. Gotta be careful. That back air. Oh, oh my God! Just enough time to yeah. shield, but the spot that's canceled into the up smash. So I thought it's broken. I'm not hearing it. Yeah. Oh, just missing the grab. Run off. Order? No. Oh, he just comes back to stage. See what does. Really Seriously. Really <laughs> does here. Oh. Just caving in oh. again, again in the back yep. air. Back, back here. That should close. And that's it. a game. That that was am amazing from Queevee. They, bro, they literally. <laughs> it's like the ASD. No, he didn't. But bro, literally about. Huh? Yeah. Bro, literally almost every time he metal bladed that game. Majority of the time he metal bladed that game, he got caped. It was he got he got caped for it, and then it's just like. Ripperoni from there. Yeah. It's it's cut. Ow. But I wonder what like what's the counter pick? I bet you it's gonna be PS2 or Town from uh South. No, definitely gonna be P running back. You think he's gonna ban? Uh, PS2. No, oh, back I guess he didn't ban PS2. Yeah, they're running back PS2. Of course. Cool. Why was South like any other stage? Yeah. It's the only one he liked. I mean, it's his favorite one. This stage is sick. Uh, it's running straight back into this. Wonder what adaptions Salad has made and what adaptions KV has made. Little zone of things, loving PS2. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. They just say that's a bracket. That's a bracket you pulled up. Yeah. I want to see that bracket. <laughs> but I also want to see my boy Salad take this game, smoothing on this Mario. Nice backer out of shield right there. Got to be. Got to still be careful with these metal blades. You're not going to get caped and killed again, bro. 
I'm just saying. Oh my god. Custom oh. combos coming in for <laughs> KB, and I like that. I like that forward the weak forward. Oh my god. Just smacking him, dude. Bro, he's just catching with like the straight air, the latest of like his back air and stuff. Yeah. And then it's just confirming into an up air. Stringing more damage, and I like it. I call out uh, up smash from Salad. Just kind of like, stop jumping over me. Bro, it's not even that. You land on the shield on safely, and you just, ca you just can catch in that. Yeah. Oh, grab, bro. Hold this up smash. That's a lot more damage than this injury disadvantage. It's true. So it's good. Bro, you suck. You get a case again. Nice. Cats back again? No, force him to air dodge and back send him off yep. stage. See the edge guard? Mm, what edge guard? Well, I guess no one could. It's just going to trap him on the ledge, which is yeah. what Sal is mainly good at. <laughs> Turn around. Ow. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta yeah. be careful. Oh. Nice. Nice. Calling out the spot dodge. There. Oh. Yeah. Up here, just beating out back. Hello? Oh, he couldn't take. Oh. Couldn't indicate that? And then he's. Send his band again and oh. forward air just takes it. Cape couldn't come out quick enough. Salad uh, getting the first stock here, but. Getting the first stock, but it was, like, it was really close. Like, really yeah. close for that first stock. This is going to be huge. Fighting for tooth and nail. Now, now Salad is one in, the, in advance, not advance, in the lead right now. Yeah. And oh. hopefully going to keep this. Uh, okay. Oh, well, uh, the higher the percentage, the lower, inv the less invincibility you have on yeah. the ledge. So you got to get off quicker. Yeah, I'd be forgetting that sometimes. Yeah, right. Not just air dodging down, wave landing onto the ground from that. That's smart. That's nasty. I like it. <laughs> God, this is trying to just finish the stock. Like. Indeed. He's, he's playing really patient, dude. He's not overextended for nothing. Nah, yeah. Oh, up smash. Nah, that, that, that is like. Solid the, just like, it's like, I don't want to do anything with this. Hold on. It's not even that, but like, I've seen like people go over down or up smash all the time, and that is like the fakest, but <laughs> true, that is like the fakest true Mario <laughs> confirm I've ever seen in my life. Because like, you land with the, the dare, right? It pops you up. Yeah. So it's like, oh my god. Uh, this yeah, back though. He was at like 200 though. Yeah. I was, I was hoping he'd live though, tip he does. But he has a stale. That's like the first time I've seen back, all, back throw all set. Yeah. It's, it's one of those moves Mario has where it's like. Worst comes to worst, alright, I'll grab my back throw and maybe I'll kill. Like, after he gets yeah. like a hundred, like a million percent. Yeah, because it looks like it should kill, but it doesn't. Like you were saying, the down air into up smash is the fakest Wi Fi ever. It's not even Wi Fi, it's just like the fakest true combo I've ever seen in my life. Because, like, half the time you go, Mario's go for it, it doesn't even work. And then the <laughs> other half time to go for it, it works. Why did that run up up air just hit? It wasn't even anti air, but he just ran up to him and started stringing up airs, and that was crazy. <laughs> And that fireball ate it. Oh my god, we tech those though. Oh, oh my goodness. This is scary, this is scary, this is scary. Oh, oh, oh but he made it back on stage, stage, but now he's in KG's yeah. hands. This is, a, this is not a, not yeah, a good spot. Wow. Ooh, very smart, very Get it right. That was smart. Oh my god, the brain on this man is gigantic. Alright, this is, this is cool. Oh, they're both dumb and smart. They're both like, even still. So the only thing is, like, I feel like KB would be in the PR if he came out to more tournament. Like, yeah. you know, he was like absent until like a few weeks ago. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that would have been scary. Don't scare me. Oh my god! Oh. Try to come in the back. Yeah, they both just came in at the same time. Just throwing out the up, the up smashes, man. <laughs> the scary thing is that KB can up, literally up smash out of the flood. That's yeah. a new thing. Is when you can cancel flood into up smash. And that's terrifying. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to punch him for charging flood. Nah. Psych, hold it. Psych, you ever, you ever get yeehawed? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Catch him with the back and sending him right back not, on stage. A, no not jump, not. and his feet cannot touch the ground. Have, have not touched the ground, you cannot keep oh, jumping okay. every nice. single time you jump it. And what's Salad doing? He's saying, hold these clippers real quick. Let me clip your mustache. You don't need that no more. Give my hair cut. Give dude. me that. Give me that. Why is Mario's hair brown but his mustache is black? That's actually uh people say that about a lot of Hold up. Hold up. Maybe Yo, I'm really just noticing that. You Yo, really? Yes. Luigi has this too. Have you never Nintendo, I want hands. <laughs> what, what's good with this? That doesn't make any what's, sense. They color into the mustache? What's the lore reason? Oh my oh. god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Off stage. Whoa, sus guy. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know. That was probably just like nearly 100%. But no, nah, he did it well. He did it so sad. That did it. Nah, nah, that was good. Now Sal is playing the camping game, which he's yeah. perfectly consent with doing, even though he hates it because it's like, uh, we both like to do damage. Oh my oh, god. That was bold. <laughs> that was bold of you, Sal. Lands, lands on top of him and he's like, nah, you're not going to touch me. It's not even that, he just, like, he just landed on the top, he just sat there, looked at him, and shielded the up smash. He's like, you want to kill me? That's cute. <laughs> there, yep. and he just does it right there. Punishing him for doing the side beat. Yeah. Neutral being played by these two is just, it's not even neutral, it's like, they're so patient. None of them wanting to overcommit and just get yeah. common. Like, again, how many times have been grabbed this set? Like, one or two times. Not, not this set, like this game. Yeah. He's only really been grabbed, like, one, a few times. He hasn't really been getting grabbed a lot. Which is like where Mario usually gets most damage. In. Yeah. But like traditionally, now we can just like upper at a shield and get a lot, of, get a lot of damage. But it's like, it's still like crazy. Cool. Just kind of 
solid again, just, just camping him out. Just throwing. No just reason throwing to, like I said, no, no reason to approach. And he doesn't want to approach wrongly, too. Because if you approach wrong, he's going to get up air and going to hit. He's going to get hit. And do you want to get hit? Nah, the, the model is don't get it. Oh, he has a metal blade. He can't yeah. throw it. All right, there we go. This could be trouble. Oh, it's uh, the double on him. Oh, my God. I, I see metal blade. Crash bomb on him. Oh. All right, back air. Let's see what's out of the two. Is that it? Caught him trying to. No, no, no. Not doing that, but he has no jump. Ah, uh, yep. No jump. Force smash taking it out. Salad dressing taking it. Boy, Salad is nasty. I'm telling you. Don't sleep on my boy, Salad. That's my boy. That's my boy. Hype, Don't sleep on my boy salad. You sleep on salad, you know what's gonna happen? You gonna get a plate full of sour salad dressing. Topped up. I had him off this. I'll see you guys later. I'll definitely I'll definitely be on later, but I have no idea when. Probably when I'm out. See you guys later. I gotta play your game, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Welcome to Encore Esports. My name is Matthew Gideon, a.k.a. Bumpy Dad. 538 Main Street in New Rochelle, New York. Every Thursday, starting at about 8 p.m. in the evening, we have our weekly Smash tournament. Come here if you if you play. Is it free entrance if you play? or uh, So it's... What's uh, the deal? Bracket, you can win money. So no, no. So here's the thing. So if you enter bracket and... So, like, I think bracket and thing is $15. Uh, bracket and entry, and then you also have access to the entire facility, so you can go and play like Fortnite or Overwatch or. I remember actually Google. commentating some stir the kid, stir the kids. Uh, I follow him on Twitter. I, I that's how that's how long I've been watching this guy. Oh yeah. I no, I'm a little biased right now. I'm not gonna <laughs> so, lie. If that wasn't obvious. Well, keep in mind. That, so this is let's set things up here. Yeah. Drilago, aka Govinda, aka the guy who owns this entire venue. Owns Encore Esports. He could shut down the stream if I said something bad about him, so I won't. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I he will. actually got a really big upset beating player four, the Long Island Peach, to make it to uh, round three here, where he now faces off against Stir the Kid. Weren't you just telling me that one of the Long Island players actually topped uh, as one of the characters in the whole world? Didn't we mention that earlier? So, L Long Island is a stacked region. Yes. Long Island has, uh, I think, yeah, DeBuzz is still out in Long Island. So, DeBuzz, who's the I best remember Rosalina. Some DeBuzz. Yeah, he's the best Rosalina slash uh, Olimar player. Um, they have, uh, who else is out there? Suarez, who is the best Yoshi. You know, they, it, such stacked talent. And the fact that Drilago was able to take out one of their. Really scary players, huge for him. Big steps up. I think this might be the biggest upset Thank he's you. ever had uh, in the game, and he wants it. to be. He wants to be running with it, you know. Yes, but sir. he has been. He's confided in me before the match. He's like, I am really worried that Stir's just gonna slosh me on stream. Yes, uh, he did. He did mention that. So it, at least he's humble. <laughs> he is humble, and we'll it's see whether or not he's whether he's humble or just a realist. It's. I guess he's setting a low expectation kind of thing. Yeah. You know. It. Uh, hope for the best, expect the worst kind of scenario. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, and I will say, though, definitely not outside the realm of possibility that Stir will slosh him. Because oh, Stir yeah. is a super good player. Was Stir and has a, a Diddy player in uh, he's the been previous Ness. game? He's been Ness through uh, and through. Ah. Uh, Ness and Lucas, but in this game he pretty much uh, sticks only with Ness. So this is the second time we're seeing an S on stream earlier. Yes. We saw Fang. We were just mentioning um, that uh, up until this moment, we had not had a character repeat, which... You, you know, usually in a game this big, you you don't expect it to happen, but it happens more than you think. People well, get yeah. set in on the characters that they have. Yeah, but the, funnily enough, Ness is not a, it's not like he's a top tier character. It's not like everyone's playing Ness. Uh, really, Stir and Fang, a little bit of trouble. Just, they have very unique styles. They're not, you know, just trying to, you know, watch videos on the best players and copy that. So, <laughs> my question for you is, uh, going into this, we, we know that Ness, a little bit uh, lighter character, definitely good with the projectiles. Pikachu, Pikachu, similar realm? What do you so think? So here's the interesting thing. Pikachu and Ness, 
this is a really bad matchup for Pikachu because um, Pikachu actually has a really good projectile. It's Thunder Jolt. This, that little thing right there <laughs> is really good, except that Ness can absorb it. Ness uses his Psy Magnet to heal off of that move, which is something that Pikachu normally loves to just throw out. And so that means that he cannot be doing that. And we're seeing uh, already on the edge of the stage, but no edge guarding yet. Yeah. Both of these guys very back and forth, getting their hits in, trying to... Like boxers feeling each other out in the first round. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. And one of the other reasons behind that is the fact that uh, Pikachu has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. His up B lets him go to pretty much anywhere, but in that case, he went right into Sturr's awaiting yo-yo. It's just too much for him. What? what it, we, we saw that, man. It was ridiculous. Ness still below 100%. A little bit worry, worrisome from Drilago, but... You know, this is not out of the realm of possibility for him to still take oh, this match. Maybe absolutely. even series. I mean, so Ness normally has a very exploitable recovery, although it can be a little bit difficult for Pikachu to, like, act, like effectively, like, let, like, you know, edge guard him. But if he does, that would be huge. And, and uh, Govinda, he, uh, sorry, Dralago is a type of player where he is usually very aggressive. He, oh, yeah. he likes to throw out hits. He likes to, you know, put an opponent, you know, make them feel uncomfortable, put them under pressure. And right now, <laughs> thought he was going to go for the down spike, but really just uh, makes that last second move because we saw the projectile right there by Ness. Could have been very oh, yeah. disastrous. Yeah, no, the, if that PK Thunder 2, that second hit, if that, you know, rocket had actually hit him, it would have killed Pikachu. Even at, like, zero, it probably would have killed Pikachu. It's is ridiculously strong. Does, does Stir the Kid have a clear advantage because of that one stock, or is this still kind of anyone's oh, game? Oh, no. Yeah, that's a huge advantage. I was right as I say it. Yeah, no, I would have I would have said just a second ago, no, you know, definitely, you know, Go, like, Drulago could take this stock and even things there out. It goes if this had happened, stop. you know, 10 seconds ago before he died at 50, uh, definitely this would be an even game. But now, oh, this is going to be a pretty tough for him. Oh, I love Ooh. that parry. That was a beautiful parry from Drulago. Man, just to get that scary Ness off of him. And now let's see if he can get something started himself. Drulago definitely dictating the pace at this moment, getting in more hits and kind of making, <laughs> making stir. That's it! Yep. Wow. Literally just spanked him. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened there? So, Salty. So that was great job from Stir. He got, I believe that was late neutral air, put him into a tech situation. That, he could have uh, teched that, but it, he didn't, which meant that he got reset, and with Ness, actually, you want to do jab and then down B to continue that. Charge up a forward smash. All of that was true as soon as Govinda messed up his uh, input once he hit the yep. ground. The button inputs, man. You, it's... A, Every match, there's always one missed place button push. The, the interesting thing about that... And it always affects how the, how the entirety yeah. of the series plays interesting out. The interesting thing about that, though, is that it's a reactive button push. You exactly. Know? You have to tech it in the window of reaction of being like, oh my god, I got hit. Oh my god, I had to tech. You have to really be prepared for it. Oftentimes, you have to play the matchup enough yeah. to know that it's coming to you know avoid getting killed at like 40 from it. And it's at that ridiculously strong. At, the, at that point... Uh, Drilago was trying to play defensive, and you could see that Stir was playing the offense there, and it was just a matter of time before he gets in that final hit, makes makes Drilago a little uncomfortable, and then boom, yeah. we see that match taken. And I want to point out again that Drilago got a huge upset in order to make it here, and that last game, he did not get blown out. You know, yeah, the ending it, for it didn't seem so great for him, but uh, he was doing a very even job before. Ooh. Oh, another PK Thunder. He's wow. dead. Oh. I was telling you what that happened? that move explodes Pikachu. So happened? when Ness does that recovery, he... <laughs> that, that, that PK Thunder 2 hit is just so strong. That slight bit of a misplaced move from Drilago costs him a stock extremely early, and now uh, he needs to be playing perfectly. And I yeah. don't think Stur's even going to get him the chance there's, to there's play no anymore. Up, there's no more chance for Drilago to, there's no oper there's no room for error here. It's just, he has to play everything perfectly, but in, in a game like this, where I was just saying there is a misplaced button in every single oh, match, oh, oh, oh. it's hard to see it happening. Yeah, human error is just such a factor. Okay, good job that Drilago. It's Drilago's why video getting... games are so great. Uh, human error. No. <laughs> is he dead? What's happening? Mash, dude! Wow. Oh my god, he almost died from that. Ness already high in the damage. Uh, you know, if oh. he does take that stock, it's it's just a thing where 
if Drolago had maybe played a little bit better defense, taking that stock, this could have been a different match, but this is almost yeah. set in stone it's at this point. As, un as much as you don't want to say, as much as you want to believe, there is a chance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I think a lot it. of it... Yeah, and there's the misinput to end all of it. It's unfortunate. Yeah. But hey, he did a he did a great job. You have to give it to Stir the Kid as well. Oh yeah, played played the stages perfectly to his advantage. Oh yeah, making Drolago uncomfortable the entire time, not able to just and execute also, how he wanted to execute. And also, it was the sort of thing where Drolago overextended a few times there. Yes. he went for an edge guard maybe he shouldn't have. He went for a counter attack that maybe wasn't the best call. Yeah, and that's. Stur just took advantage of that, recognized the situation, he's like, okay, yes, you made the mistake, I'm going to make you feel bad about making that mistake. All right, next we're going to be getting Noku versus Ralphie. It's not how you pronounce their names. Hello, Hi, Ralphie. Ralphie. I already think I know who's going to come out on this one, but that, that's bias from me. I... Um, I have much more familiarity so, with Ralphie than I do with Noku. Yeah, yeah. So Ralphie, Only seeing course. Noku once, Ralphie, I had actually the yeah, pleasure yeah, of working yeah. a few tournaments that him. Yeah, no, Ralphie is, of course, back in Smash 4, one of the best players in New York. He has had a little bit more trouble finding his footing in this game. Obviously, still a super solid player. He's won encores before. But it's the sort of thing where I would not I would not say that this is a foregone conclusion. Oh, no, not Noku at all. Noku could the definitely take this, uh, especially because, like, Ralphie... Um, it's, it's a scenario of that it's why they play the game. Oh, you, yeah. Y you can obviously think like, oh, Ralphie's obviously going to win this, but no. You have to play it out because there is the chance that... The, it's not that Noku's a bad player. It's just yeah. that... Well, you know the funny thing, actually? I think based on recent performances, because Ralphie has had a few tournaments where he didn't do too well here, Noku might actually be seated higher than him. I could not tell you exactly. Do we believe that uh, Ralphie making the, step, making the step from Smash 4, Smash Ultimate... Has that hindered his performance? Definitely the game. Like, he was... It felt like he really figured out his game plan for Smash 4. And I'm waiting for it to click in Ultimate. It's going because to like, happen, but it's just... Yeah. No, like, I remember... Takes time, yeah. feeling, yeah, yeah, muscle yeah. memory, all yeah, those yeah. things. Yeah. Also, like, strategizing. Because in Smash 4, he would, you know, he would hit you once, and he really knew what he wanted to do from there. He knew how to keep you at the ledge, do all these things. A character that worked really well to his strengths. Um, and in this game, I think that, like, it's eventually he's going to... We will see him return to that sort of dominance he had. But... In the meantime, he has to face off against Noku here, who has been... He's a player that leveled, you know, really leveled up coming into Ultimate. His Pokemon trainer has been and just showing everything he can do. He's and been doing a great job lately. Uh, there is a slight strategic advantage, I'd say, right away based on character picking because there is no doubt Fox is faster than all three usable so that's a, that's Pokemon. That's a wolf. Oh. It's a wolf notable, which that's means wolf. that... Oh, that wow. is Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's wolf. Please and excuse my, please excuse me, Mr. Nintendo. <laughs> uh, but that actually, it's the opposite, where wolf is a slower character. Oh. Um, I Squirtle am can outspeed him. Ivysaur probably won't, isn't necessarily the same. Damage I think he's probably faster than I assume. Damage being yeah. dealt even, though, I'd say, so far. Oh, yeah. but And the thing is, both these characters, so good at killing. That might be it. Back throw it to death. Ooh. Yeah. A bit really, of a, really well executed grab right there. Yeah, just able to like not get hit by that up smash. And now we have Noku in a little bit of control here. Let's see whether... He, okay, yeah, he's going to take a more uh, patient approach, really try and wall him out, not get hit by the kill moves. Right as I say that, he gets hit by the kill move. And that we have dash a, attack. We have a practically even match so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, We geez. have not seen any Charizard yet. Though in that you have to think it's because there hasn't been an opportunity yeah. for, for for that last huge hit when you're in a high percentage. If yes. it comes down to one to one stock per piece, would not be surprised if we saw yeah, Charizard it, come it, out towards the end. In a last hit situation, definitely that's a possibility. Um, the thing is that the character is a little bit. It's one of my problems with the you know Pokemon trainer is that Charizard is just a little too niche. Where like definitely he has his uses, but like if those particular situations don't come up, Pokemon trainers will just like avoid him entirely. Uh, oh, what a good recovery right there. And Noku goes for the Noku, charging F smash at the ledge. And now we're forced to switch to the Charizard. This is one of those niche things where Charizard does kind of have the best recovery of the three of them. Let's see if it can actually lead him to getting back onto the stage. Almost executes pressure. the grab, but really good job uh, by Wolf to get out yeah. of there. You know, it was, he's really, his pressure Ooh. so well timed. Really good job right there, just timing the 
timing the juggle, if you will. Yeah, and just continuing that juggle, getting the up air to finish the job. And now we have Noku switching back to Ivysaur. Wants to Ooh. end this, possibly. Ooh. Good use of the projectiles on the ledge right there, not giving him a chance. And now we are at one stock apiece. Just like I said, do not be surprised if we see Charizard come out after we hit the 80% mark. Yeah, no, especially if he starts getting worried about dying to Wolf, because Wolf, as a character, has so much kill power. His Absolutely. back air, his smash attacks, it's all just so scary. And we're seeing the Squirtle out right now just because you want to string <gasps> together those combos, get the damage, but Wolf has been the better player, at least at this stock. Now we go to the Ivysaur. A little, yeah. little bit more power, still can juggle, not like a Charizard. Oh just survived. That was barely, I can't believe How did, how did that. that happen? That, uh, so he managed that, that, Wolf's back air just has such great range, he actually made it through. Still so surviving? Through oh my god, another time he's, Noku probably, you know, cannot be, feel too there great, because he just lost the game though. It's unfortunate, and we didn't see that Charizard towards the end there, but there was never a chance where Wolf got yeah. above 80% uh, on that last stock. Yeah, that's the other thing, is that like Charizard can be kind of a liability, because Absolutely. even though you want to survive till later, it's you know? So, he's such he's a big target. Exactly. He's, it's, he's bound to take damage. His hitbox is so big. Yeah, and... It, almost the, anything. Projectiles, uh, combat, all those types of yeah, things. Yeah, he's comboed. Th like, you know, there, I'm not wondering that there might be some things at like higher percents that like Wolf would actually be able to combo into death against a Charizard specifically. Um, I'm not a hundred. I'm not hundred percent familiar with all of the characters. You know, his combos and uh, you know, to confirms and all that. But nonetheless, we're gonna be having game two. I really like this. I think this is Pokemon Trainer's best stage. I think that each of the Pokemon get a like get a unique benefit from that triplat layout. So, um, and uh, just a little bit of an interesting strategy we saw there by Noku at the ledge. Instead of trying to lure him with an attack, trying to use the fact that he was hanging on the ledge to his advantage, goes for the defensive. Kind of shows that he's a little bit nervous down 1 0. Kind of seeing that actually play out in the game. Very surprising. Oh, yeah. It's not a big <laughs> thing, but it's something to be aware of. Yeah, I think it's also like kind of smart not trying to push the advantage too much. Does not want to overextend against Ralphie. You know, we've we seen that already in, uh, with Drilago. Yeah, that's why he uh, unfortunately just two minutes trying to do too much at once was the down was his downfall. Yeah, and right now I was to say like immediately. He started going for these things like empty hopping towards him, reading an air dodge. So I think that patience Ooh. might work out really well for him. Ba that uh, Vine Whip just barely missing. Gonna back throw him off stage. Let's see if he can close out the stock this time. See, we haven't seen a single completed edge guard. And there Noku it is. There's the first one. <clears throat> yeah, Noku actually slaps his lap. And, and close those. we see the Charizard come out. We go right back to the Squirtle because you got the, you got the stock. Now time to get those combos back up. Oh, yeah. And we're, oh. great. <laughs> we're practically even, you could say, at this point. Nobody has a clear advantage, but Ralphie kind of dictating the pace of the entire series so far up to this point. Yeah, but now I'd say that Noku is probably finding a little bit more of his footing. If you see this... Okay. Uh, <laughs> I... Whenever Wolf gets like one of those late nairs, like some, it's possible that some huge damage is gonna follow. And at the very least, it, part of it might be that Squirtle is so tiny. He's been avoiding those really, really damaging combos. Oh. And you know that's what was, we were saying before how maybe not overextending, but he goes for forward smash, gets hit by the Wolf side B. So maybe next time he's gonna be a little bit more patient on the ledge. Ralphie will probably be, you know, he's so good at being able to adjust on the fly to, you know, what oh, their yeah. opponents, you know, what their next strategy is. And there was some really good DI right there uh, by uh, Noku, just uh, adjusting Ooh. himself very slightly, stops the juggle and breaks it a match again. Now yeah. the damn, now they're both dealing out the damage at two stocks apiece. You imagine if he, if if Noku gets launched, nah, we're yeah. going to see the Charizard come out right away, and he's going to try and get the grab. Oh, yeah, and Almost grab on this executes stage. it right there. <laughs> oh, but this is the risk of being Charizard at these lower percent. When you're at low percents, he can get comboed super hard. I think it's worth it at this point. You know, one up smash, one grab will do it. And there's the it grab. should do it. He actually brings him to the top Ooh. platform and finishes it off. Launches right him out. We are at one stock apiece, folks. If, if Ralphie wins, he moves on to the next round. If Noku wins, we get a game three. All right, that's some nice damage. 
31% and growing. I like that. Just throwing him off stage for a, with a back throw. Trying to look at that. He's. He, I think he's starting to recognize, realizing there what, that was his. That was his win condition. That was putting him on the ledge. Incredibly good effort by Noku right there. Even though his stock was taken first, he didn't let it deter him. He didn't let it distract him. He stayed in there the whole time, ended the match, and now we have a game three. And I feel like it's sort of one of those like defining moments was when he grabbed him in the middle of that combo and he went for a back throw. He could have gone for down throw and gotten guaranteed damage, but he's like, no, I am, I am, I've been like holding back on the ledge this entire time. Now I'm going to go in deep. Now I'm going to make sure I end you right here, right now. And so I think that was a really great call from Noku. I'm, he might not be able to get away with something like that again. Uh, really, the ball's in Ralphie's court as to whether or not he can recover against uh, Noku these next few, in this next game. And we're at Pokemon Stadium, so uh, you uh, have to wonder, is this going to actually work to advantage of the Pokemon trainer, or is it just a neutral site? So, uh, people say that Pokemon Stadium 2 is the most neutral stage in the game. I personally disagree. I actually think that it's very good for characters like Wolf, who have... <gasps> the edge wow. guard right there was phenomenal. That was actually beautiful. And you Amazing. See, no. Wow. <laughs> and the guys even got with the Squirtle the water, water gun. gun. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That. Even I even I was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. All right, and maybe he's feeling himself a little bit too much. He's starting to go for a lot of these smash attacks. But Don't honestly, worry. he's only taking Ralphie 50%. Ralphie did that thing where he started leaning forward. <laughs> so it's about to he's go down. He's dead again. Forgive her the water gun. Oh, my God. Noku just making this game three look one-sided. And you have to wonder if Ralphie, you know, if he's... If he's given up at this point, or is he going to pull out all the punches? Ralphie, I feel like that second stock, he kind of lost his composure a bit. But he's the type of player that, especially, it's game three, you know? Yes. You can't just be like, all right, let me think about game two. Yep. You know, uh, this you know, is all I you have to, to do with. is beat your opponent right now. There's no, yeah. there's not going to be another chance. It's either this yeah. or nothing. And I mean, look at this. He's gone back to the basics, recognizing what he needs to be doing. Oh, but that single mistake against Ivysaur already. He's taken 45. Oh, man. Gets out of there. That jab, though, to just break himself free. Let's see if he can actually end a stock, though. 146 on Ivysaur. This should be pretty close to death. And that down. Wow, the side B. Just like can that, we up? have a... We ha there's still a hope A more here. reasonable game. Yep. It's We're not 3-1 anymore. There's not going to be a three stock, but it doesn't mean that this is necessarily right back in Ralphie's court. He's still climbing uphill. You know the funny thing also is that on, I would say momentum is in Ralphie's fate. <gasps> he's dead. Oh, he saved his jump. Beautiful job wow. right there. I don't know if he's alive, I'm, though. I'm so surprised by the change of Pokemon in that moment because that it was, seemed like it, it gave it Ralphie an opportunity though. to get back into things, but... The kill power of the Ivysaur was yep. the difference, and it's why he was able to get him at 114%. Ralphie does not win. Noku moves on to the next round. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. By I'll the be way, the second to admit it. He was smash wrong. down here. Encore Esports 538 Main Street. Register hey. early on Smash.gg. Doubles tournament, five bucks, starting at six thirty. Eight dollars to enter. Singles tournament, seven dollars. That one starts at seven thirty to eight o'clock. Ish. They're also a second chance bracket. If you do lose in the first round, it's not over for you. There, you can win the losers bracket and then come back and get a chance to win the entire thing, including the money. Yep, and also Road to Defend the North. This is this Sunday, guys. It's the monthly we have going on. And winner of this gets free venue and I believe free hotel for Defend the North, which is coming in July. It's going to be real cool. Please. $5 to enter. It's going to be Sunday, June 30th, 4 p.m. for doubles, 5.30 p.m. for singles. Uh, and, of course, here are the other Defend the North Road 2s that we'll be uh, seeing on Saturday. We have the Melee version. Sunday, we got that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, I think also Dragon Ball Fighters has happened. Over so these are the last two. All the other ones have happened. And also tune into them because there's going to be some cool stuff going on. Um, we got and a Mega Man vs. Yoshi. You are the expert on Yoshi, so I'm going to let you take the uh, reins on this one. I, You know the funny thing? I don't know if it's... I don't think it's Yoshi's first matchup, but this, for me personally, Salad Dressing is the one player I don't even bother with playing Yoshi anymore. I, it's just the, the way that the... It, 
I, what I do you mean when you this. say that? I mean, like, I this matchup feels unwinnable against Salad Dressings. Because I played against him quite a few times. Uh, as Yoshi? As Yoshi. So I, a mirror I, match. Different, but... No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, Salad Dressings. Oh. Mega Man. Oh, I'm saying, I'm okay. saying, yeah, yeah, that's, so Mega Man Yoshi, I don't know if it's as bad as it feels, but it feels real bad. Well, Mile um, definitely <laughs> getting the damage done. Yeah. Making, Making me look like an idiot out showing here. Showing you that the match is already in his favor. He's just hoping that, you know, Salad Dressing can actually get back into this. Still three stocks apiece, so it's not like it's over, but... With a lighter character like Mega Man, you have to be a little bit Actually, concerned. Actually, that's an interesting thing. Mega Man is not that light. Oh, Mega Man mistake. is one of the heavier characters in the game. And also, Yoshi is one of the characters that notoriously has difficulty killing. And that's something we're seeing right now. 101% on Yoshi. What looked like a completely just do dominant showing is now basically even. And even considering that, like, either one of them, the next hit might kill. Absolutely. If you have to just uh, be nervous, we did see a stoppage of play right there for a second. Just both of them trying to figure out the defensive way because you're at such high percentages. Yep. But we do see Salad Dressing lose his first stock. Yep. And now you have to worry about the heaviness of Yoshi. No, yeah, I'm not yep. personally sure about the kill power of Mega Man, but I know Yoshi is a tough kill regardless yeah, of what yeah. percentage So you like have. he's slippery and then also deceptively heavy. Uh, and Mega Man has kill power, but it's very... If you play around Mega Man's kill options really well, if you can do that, it can really be difficult for him to actually finish off stocks. Uh, the question is whether he's going to be able to do that or not. And great it job finding that back air. We now have Mile uh, only up by a single percent, and that uh, lead is just gone. Salad Dressing gets the first hit this time around. And after taking the... Uh, after being bullied, you could basically oh, say yeah, the entire no. first that stop. Was, this I, is now almost call in Melania favor Trump. of <laughs> this is almost in favor of salad dressing now, but both very reasonable percentages. It's still yeah. it's still early in this series. There's no clear distinct advantage between either of these two guys. Could see this going three. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I'm loving the evasion from Mile, throwing out these moves, but never too committal. He's always able to spot dodge the punish, and that is basically even keeping him in the lead, but he's been getting individual hits, and these individual hits have not necessarily been that rewarding. You know, this has really been nickel and diming each other, which... There's no, it's, not that the, it's not that this is a uh, defensive battle. It's not that this is an offensive battle. This is just a battle between yeah. two players that... They're just try they're really feeling each other out. There is no distinct advantage at this moment in time. It's respect between the two players. You, you know, can they say that real so much. Yeah, they really understand like if I mess up, there's so much there's so many bad things that my opponent can do to me. So I'm just going to not mess up. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about. He got hit once like a five seconds ago and now already he's at 118, 133 and off stage. Mile been struggling ever since. That's a stock just gone. Yeah, I, I I will still believe that the reason that one of even though Miles started off pretty well, Yoshi killing Mega Man is just so difficult. And I yep, he, you can see he's throwing out these smash attacks, maybe a little bit more of a uh, riskier option because he just wants to end it. But it's so he's surprising because we saw that Miles didn't get didn't lose stock until 180 percent almost. I think either 168 or 186. I one of those two. So. Uh, both of these guys are, both of these characters, difficult to kill, to say the least. Oh, yeah, but it seems that they, it's the anxiety starting to get to, uh... All right, finally closing the stock off with the and we egg see to up salad air, dressing, nodding in acknowledgement yeah, of, just uh, sort of... Yeah, which is, whenever you see a player do that, it means that even though they lost that stock, they are still in control. They're like, all right, I understand why that happened, and I understand what I need to do in order to win the game. And as we salad see right dressing there does exactly what you just said. Yeah, uh, I, I, I mean, I don't want to say like switch characters, especially you because Miles need to pull Yoshi. Us characters. We might. See I our know first that Miles does have switch on stream today. I, I know that Miles has a uh, has a pretty solid inkling. I don't think he's going to be switching to it. Yeah, he's just going to be sticking, We're sticking with, with the same guys. I, and I don't think that matchup was unwinnable at all. Oh the way no, that it, it looks from Miles. It was very even for the first two stocks, but that last stock it just kind of fell into salad dressing. Well, favor. the big thing is that as soon as Yoshi doesn't have a lead anymore, that's when it becomes like unmanageable, 
And on top of that, like Yoshi actually getting the kill on Mega Man can be so difficult. So even if you have a lead, until you actually get the stock, it doesn't matter too much. Ooh -hoo -hoo! A lot of movement going on right now, but we're seeing uh, Mile get the better of, of that movement, if you will. Just oh, kind of yeah. dictating the pace, dictating where the battle is happening, where, uh, where the fight is happening. Yeah, it's all happening at the ledge, and Salad Dressing is holding on for dear life. Okay. But we see, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult because Yoshi's kill power is not the best. You just want to be it. You just want to lure him to the ledge, kind of trick him, use your egg projectiles maybe to fake him out on the yep. side and get wow. that down spike if you're lucky. <laughs> All right. Finishing the job way off stage. Getting the forward air spike. Things looking pretty good for Mile. I was, you know, I... For me personally, just this matchup is difficult to the point where I was, you know, questioning whether or not he should be even going Yoshi. But clearly, like, he understands what he needs to be doing. It's just a matter of he has to play very well. His game plan has to be well oiled to the point where, you know, he never ends up being at a deficit against even a good player like Salad Dressing. And we're seeing right now, despite the fact that he's at 112%, heavy character like Yoshi. Very clear Mile is in control of this specific game. Oh, yeah. Um, and he, like, he's also been more comfortable hitting him with like little tiny tap moves, you know, the down tilts, being more patient when he actually gets a single hit in. And that's huge. Oh, but right as I said that he gets thrown off stage. He, if he dies... He I love the Mega Man throws. He's just kind of like, look, I brought you a Yoshi on a silver <laughs> platter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want this? Yeet! And, you know, still, the <laughs> heaviness of Yoshi we see playing a factor at 175%. It is a tough... Yoshi's a tough out. It, it, oh, it, yeah. There's no doubt about it. And, yeah, and his frame data is so good. He actually goes off stage, gets another forward air. The off stage is what's made the difference. Mile been able to go out there and actually, you know, take stocks, which... It's difficult to do. Mega Man is not a character with an exploitable recovery. It's just he's familiar with the panic options when salad dressing just... And that was a, a really good juggle right there by Mile. Oh, you yes, might actually see a three up. stock. No, nope, I I was wrong. The minute you say anything, it's just on stream, it immediately oh, becomes yes. not true anymore. Uh, you understand my child. But already at 100% is a very, very tough spot for salad dressing. It's... Oh, wow, what an up I'm smash. glad I didn't finish my sentence because I was going to say still winnable, but <laughs> now it isn't. <laughs> Are you sure? I think he still has a chance. Yes. He's, game like, he's right there underneath him. He can get to him. We have a game three, folks. Salty. Yep. Who do you like? Do you like anyone? Is it dependent <laughs> upon the stage? I hate everything and everyone in existence. Me too. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, neutrality. Is hmm. there? Is anyone have an advantage at this moment in time? It's really hard to say. I think that game one was pretty convincing. Uh, I have felt it was pretty convincing for Solid Dressing. Game two, of course, convincing for Mile. I think the very start is going to decide all of it. Yes. I think that, you who know. Who comes out faster and hitting harder. It, who has the lead? Who ends up being the one where it's like, now you have to approach me. Now you have to get through all of my nonsense. Well, I, yes, absolutely. Because we see, we saw both of these guys thrive with a, with a lead. However small it was, just one stock, even percentages. But now we're in game three. They might be a little bit more hesitant. Yeah. Maybe it might take a few Ooh. more seconds to think you about know, that. I will actually say so mild. Been going through a lot of these full hop down airs. And so Todd Dressing has not really gotten hit by them. And he's also been immediately adjusting to like, okay, I need to be, you know, up airing. I need to be back airing to keep him out. But right as I Ooh. say that, that one down air connects and it makes a huge... Huge impact. And that was just for the very first time that we saw this this match really get to the air. It's been very grounded oh, up until yeah. this moment. Well, it's the thing is that Mega Man has been on the ground for most of the game, and now he is way out there. He is in the blast zone. I think that Mile might have a serious chance of taking this as long as he plays to this lead and it doesn't disappear from him like it did in uh, game one. We're seeing a lot of the use of projectiles with Mega Man, especially now that you're down two stock. You want to try and avoid taking any more damage while still getting your guy. But, you know, you're going to have to still deal, deal out 50% more damage to even, like, get Yoshi close to kill to his kill percent. 
Yeah, especially, I think that Miles doing a great job of playing around. Uh, like, a lot of the times when you're on the ledge, Mega Man will try to go for, like, uh, the metal blade into back air ways to close out stocks. And Ooh. for the most part, he hasn't been able to land any of those. So, <gasps> just great awareness, matchup experience is clearly paying off for him. And we're at Yoshi's kill percent. You imagine if he lands one hit, it yeah, could one be a up munch, smash. but it could be too little too late because salad dressing is already at 131%, and that's definitely within his kill range. We've seen oh, already. Oh, absolutely. <gasps> he has to air dodge away. Great job. Good recovery by both of those guys. Right oh, there. yeah. No, they are... <laughs> Dang. And that's the back air finally. Now, this is not a great position. This is obviously. a very tough spot. Oh, that was so clean. He actually... So he transferred the sticky bomb back to uh, Mega Man and then comboed off of the explosion, guaranteeing himself a full stock lead. And that might be exactly what he needs to seal this game. We are so at has a to play similar perfectly point right now. Per set. We are at a very similar point percentage-wise. It would, would not be surprised if you see uh, Salad Dressing do a lot of damage, take a stock, but then Yoshi just gets it because it's too late at this oh, point. Oh, yeah, no, that's the thing. He can't take too much damage. He's realizing that. Look at the way he's playing right now, throwing out these tiny very little defensive, pellets. Very defensive. Both of them playing defensively. Oh, wow. But it's There's no need for Mile to play defensive. He can be aggressive. He has the one-stock advantage. I, he can play aggressive, but I feel like playing against, Me playing against Mega Man aggressively is a mistake because Mega Man is so much better at defending than at approaching. So, ooh, if you basically say, you have to come to me. Like, I could sit here for four minutes, and then I win from a timeout. So it's all on you! That down spike right there. Mile takes the series. Yeah, great stuff to him. Make me eat my words that this is Yoshi's worst matchup. That is a gross hand. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> what Why does he look like that? Well, he is a dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurs don't have fur. Oh, shoot, they had feathers. Do you know Some that dinosaurs had feathers? All dinosaurs had feathers now. All well, dinosaurs are chickens. All dinosaurs are chickens, yep. You know the T-Rex, the thing that we think are so cool? Turns chicken. out it's a big chicken. Big old chicken. <laughs> Bobo versus Stir the Kid. Um, Have you guys ever played each other? Uh, yeah, yeah. They have, but they're not sure on the record, so... I, I, I imagine they said long time ago either it had to have been when the game first came out or maybe there were Smash 4 competitors. They definitely played in Smash 4. I know that for a fact, but I think, yeah, it might have been a while, and both these players have evolved a ton. And I mean, at the very least, Bobo playing Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong got patched recently, only and we a few just weeks ago. And we so. just saw Bobo very recently uh, go pretty far at the He beat Ling Ling at UD this week. Yeah. He beat Ling Ling, got second overall. He ended up losing to Ling Ling in Grands. But uh, yeah, so he's kind of running off of a bit of a hot streak. Let's see if he can continue it here at Encore. You don't know if the, it, you know, because there's so much time in between the tournaments, if it's actually going to carry over. And the players, the atmosphere, all these things can be different in the way that uh, it feels with momentum. But once you pull off a big upset, especially against a guy like Ling Ling, you kind of build, it, it builds your confidence. You're not afraid to puff your chest out a little bit more and be like, okay, I'm oh, better yeah. at this game than I thought Here's I the thing, though. That can also backfire. Because what if you're like, this is it. I'm in my big break. Yep. I'm going to be a great player. I'm going to be You don't want to get I'm going to be the next Ling Ling. And then you go to the next tournament, and you start losing your round one, and you're like, what happened? Who, so, who, who spikes my drink? Why is this me? So my question is, it's it, uh, we're going to see most likely a Ness versus Diddy Kong. Pokemon trainer? No. No. He's faking us out. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> He's a filthy liar. Okay, there it is. Ness versus Diddy Kong. Advantage either either side? I actually, I am not going to speak with any authority on this. I know that uh, if previously in the previous game it used to be pretty bad. I think for Ness. I, I don't know actually. I I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's even. Not with I, I there's nothing that jumps out to me as making giving one character a huge advantage over another. I may very well be proven wrong. Oh the actually uh I think one of the big things is gonna be recovery. Especially for Diddy Kong. Remember before we saw... Uh, Ness is able Fang. to keep using PK Fire to yeah, do multiple recoveries. Yeah, he's like, also, like, Ness can use his PK Thunder when he's on stage to, like, just barely graze Diddy Kong, and that might be enough to end the stock extremely early based on uh, how his barrels work. <gasps> he's not dead, though. That is was a dead? really good down spike. Oh, my he's God. He's dead! Wow. Wow, actually, I... 
I, that must have been DI dependent. I think he probably could have avoided getting down air. And the way if Bobo, not, then this game is bad. And the way Bobo just, you know, staying at the ledge, it seems so easy to just stand there, but it's always difficult. You all, and it's a, it's a mental thing. You get into your opponent's head, seeing the guy, seeing the, your opponent there while you're trying to make a ledge recovery oh, makes yeah. you think for a second. And, uh, <laughs> you didn't that even have to go second, down there and mess with him. He yeah, was just like, mm. that one second is all you need. Okay. Definitely an advantage at this moment for Bobo. Already at 100%, but... Ooh, the counterattack! This, uh, that, so, <laughs> oh, right, that was really cool. I thought that was about to be another stock gone for Stir, but in Me fact, too. he managed to... Uh, from that bad situation around. It's a little bit, it, 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 it's looking difficult though at this moment for Stur, based just upon the percentage. You imagine soon he's going to be able to take a stock and then from that point, one versus two, we usually see the two stock leader beat the one stock person. Yeah, Especially when they're at big, zeros. Yeah, no, I don't know if you've seen a huge comeback yet today. Not yet. Um, and so now Stir, maybe he'll be the one to start it. He, the thing is, he does have amazing pressure, great combo game. So if he starts to feel himself, if he gets that momentum going, then I, it does feel like he could do anything, even make back a two-stock deficit. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. 68%, and I think it's going to keep growing. He yeah, has him in the corner. He has not taken damage yet. At this stock, at least, which is exactly how you have to play this moment. But right Ooh. as I say it, Starts getting hit with a few combos, juggle just for a second, but still, any damage at, the, at one stock is, is damage you cannot afford to take. Yeah, oh my god, wow, the spacing, the beautiful recovery from Bobo, he is going to be living at 120%, and now, oh my god, all the, like, the, the way these two are maneuvering around each other, the way that Bobo is just barely walking, I'm honestly... These two feel like they're just inside of each other's heads. And right now, Stir looking to end a stock. Will he be able to do it? And Charging the yo-yo. Wow. He doesn't get just past it. barely. We could have seen a stock taken. And that that Diddy Kong recovery was almost the difference right there. Could have oh, been yeah. one stock high. That should piece, be it. But no, just right. enough. Ooh. Dangerous to play that off the off the stage game. Yeah, there he finally goes down. He recovers. Yeah, he keeps recovering. Monkey won't stay <laughs> down. We are at one stock apiece, but 141 percent. It might be too little, too late. Yeah. No, there you was. Imagine if, if, oh, wait, if no he, way. If no Diddy way. lands a grab. Okay. Yeah, that banana. Wasn't a grab, but it was something. Yeah, Diddy Kong's banana at those higher percents is what you have to be so scared of because it trips you, and he can pretty much combo it into forward smash, up smash. You know, basically, you know, banana into imagination is <laughs> the name of is how is the label of the combo. You just do whatever you want, um, and that means that it's so hard to mount a comeback against a Diddy Kong player. You know, because you make a single mistake, he just throws that banana, you're dead. That's it. Um, so stir. Although I feel like it's, there was that li that was that middle ground in or like that like like part three or four in that game where Stur was just playing amazingly. Yes. And then it just happened to be he couldn't close out that stock yep. and then, you know, it, the trade just started happening. Kind of a little bit too late. He, he he was executing perfectly how he was supposed to with one stock left, but it just couldn't finish him off. Yeah, the big thing, finish. the big problem is that then you get your opponent to the percent where now you can kill them and now you feel like you have to kill them and that's when your game plan might start to change. You know, you start going for riskier options. You start... Like pushing your advantage maybe a little bit too much, but the thing is, if you can hold on to that one stock mentality in the lead into this new game, look at him, Bob. It's adorable. Well, he's listening. He's listening to the Pokemon Two Stadium, Pokemon Stadium Two jams. I don't know if he, he is. He changed the music. I saw him do it. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah. Oh, this is you. you See, now Pokemon you, Gold, now you Pokemon messed Silver up. Medley. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> right. Oh, this is the Poke Floats theme. Bring back Poke Floats. Make it legal. Poke Floats? Yeah, po from Melee, Poke Floats. Uh, the stage with like all of the f giant floating Pokemon. I remember that of. game, yep. Oh my god, that was, that, that's... I hope they have added an extra Ooh. one as DLC. Ooh. Just barely both of them recovering, kind of luring each other to the edge. Neither of them taking, taking each other's BS, though. A lot more grounded at this moment in time. Not as near, nearly air-based as the previous match. But it's early. We could see it go differently. All right, 
slips on the banana, so he lost a little bit of his... Oh, Ooh. there it is! And How Bubble. on earth did he do that? <laughs> so that's actually a really cool way to edge guard or to ledge trap with uh, Ness. You throw out that PK Thunder, and then if the opponent rolls behind you, you can just turn it back, turn yourself into the rocket, and you kill them at extremely low percents. So that was a versatile attack right oh there yeah, no. on the ledge by Ness. Can be a little bit risky, of course, you know, if your opponent just, like, waits a second, then they can get up on stage and actually just hit you. Right there, it. though, we did but see the risk, the, the, the reward of the risk, and it paid oh, off. Oh, yeah, definitely. He loses that stock when he managed to dish out a nice, juicy 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Always funny. Oh, he's dead! Wow. Oh, not enough. <laughs> now, the, if the you were to ask me... Diddy Kong recovery. There it is. <laughs> If you were to ask me what happened right there, I would go, hmm. I, it basically had to do with like Diddy Kong kind of exploding out of his barrels it when he hit the PK Thunder and hit the stage. I can't even tell you exactly. Diddy Kong recovery is It's just a, you know, uh, the wrong button input happens. I don't even know whether it was that. I think he maybe could have teched it, but I'm not even sure about that. Uh, just I think it was just a very well-placed PK fire from Stir. And now it's actually funny. We have that sort of different... The mirror image of what happened last time. Exactly. About 100% of stir on his, la on his second to last stock. And now Bobo has to play perfectly. Has to find a way to close out this stock without eating too much. There Let's see if he can do what stir couldn't and actually make a comeback. There is an opportunity, though, for Bobo right now to uh, take stock and still, and still like have this within realm of reason. But he just went from 70 to 91. You're getting in a very high place. If you cannot afford to take any more hits at yeah, this point. Especially because Ness hits so hard. We've seen him kill Ganondorf at like 80 yeah. today. Like this this is a boy with a vengeance. Do you know that his family was killed? Probably. I don't know. Yes. I never played the Earth Band games. Is that really what happened to Ness? I know that his brother is your brother. Oh, there you there go. There it is. <laughs> and we have a game three, folks. Just like we said, this 91% it was just a little bit too high at that point. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for Sturf, Ness comes out on top in this matchup, and we have a game three. You know the funny thing? I think that both of those games show that the players are really good at maintaining their leads. Yeah. They don't, they don't choke very easily. No. And that means that in this next game, the start of it is going to be huge. And they're even talking to each other, which you love to see, just like... You know, a, 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 yeah. a real, real true opponents, a rivalry. Yeah, no, they, they, they know each other a ton. It's not just like, a, I'm going to go to Battlefield. It's like, hey, man, what's wrong with you, you bum? Always. That's not what they say. I'm pretty sure but, they said that. Uh, that's, what I, that's what they sounded like, at least. <laughs> I do a very good, that's my Bobo impression. Town and City. Town and City for Game 3. This is the first time I think we've seen a Town and City uh, stage on, on stream today. Is I think that we correct? saw once before. It might have been actually the previous match. Is, is this stage favor no. either one of these guys at this moment, especially hmm. in Game 3? It does when it's F so the platforms change the platform layouts and when we have the final destination variant where all the platforms leave that's probably favoring Diddy Kong. Yes. Uh, which so is this is a favoring Diddy Kong. I currently. would say that for the most part it's even. However, there are about thirty or so second stretches at a time where uh, Bobo can maybe really push his advantage, get a single hit in, and because it's final destination, go a long way with it. He you know? swung and missed. He got a strike. Haha, uh -huh. baseball. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Pretty even, though, to start off. No distinct advantage either way. Both both players getting their attacks in. It's both on the ground, in the air at the same time. Yeah. There, this is going all kinds of directions. <laughs> but and the thing is, like before, as we said, you know that PK Thunder could be a really good risky uh, option. Right there, the risk did not pay off, and actually, what was a good situation got turned around on him. Not terrible, as right now, Str still has the lead, but he's at 113. Now they're both at kill percent. And oh, he just over pursues, and it was too much. He was oh. trying to go for that grab on the ledge. Oh. Just a good little move by. Ness right there, it's just over yeah. over pursuit, overextending himself, just like we saw with Drilago earlier. Trying to do a little bit too much. Being that was a scenario where maybe being less aggressive would have worked in your favor. Mm -hmm. But it's practically an even match now that we're at two stocks apiece, just 14% damage, 27% damage <laughs> dealt to Bobo so far. Oh, I love that down smash. Good just use of the yo-yo right there. Oh, yeah. no, it's, it's also really cool because like none of his other moves would have really hit in that position. That's why he went for it. Um, and now, 
Oh, good use of the banana. <laughs> Gets his whole combo off of it. Let's see if he can get extended even further, but... I, okay, I think that lately, Bobo's been doing a really good job of getting out of the corner, which is oh, yeah. huge. There's been barely any ledge guarding in this match, which we saw a lot of in the previous two. I oh, feel like yeah, we saw yeah. a down spike in both... A down spike stock taken in both matches. Am I, am I correct or incorrect? It, was, it wasn't... The first game, there was a the down air from... Uh, from Bobo, but in the second game it was the weird little edge guard with PK Fire. But you're right, there haven't really been any huge edge guards that have happened. Although we and may see that change right now because, like you said, the, the moving platforms are out, <laughs> and there it could it makes a big difference. No way, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. For yeah, he was st stuck in the corner. That's like the FD just makes. It feels like FD makes each character's weaknesses and strengths magnify. You know, there are no platforms to escape to or, you know, retreat or to combo off of. So now, ooh, geez. <laughs> now it's a matter of whether Bobo can take this stock before he eats another 100. Like, it feels like that 100% is the magic point where they uh, yeah, just haven't been you, able to recover since. If you get, if you get past Oh my god, maybe even not. He's dead? He goes out there and that's it. Wow, an amazing... A, Beautiful Stop. use of the stage. Really Stir good, finishes the really, job. Really good job by Stir right there. Pretty much dictated the entire pace. Dictated the entire pace of that match. Oh yeah, no. It's as soon as he, he got that one hit at the end there, that was it. Just ran with it. And I'd like to say he used the platform, started to pull away, and he recognized and used that beautifully. Everything that Diddy Kong and Bobo were doing in that match was reactionary to what. Stir yeah. was throwing out there. He was, it was like he was never had. It was everything he was doing. He's like, I just need to get out of this bad situation. I need but to there, get it, out. He couldn't find the out. He just got. Who do we have coming up next? Uh, I believe this is going to be Noku, Noku versus and Mile. There we go. Mile, hey. Is this a rematch of a, of a matchup we saw at UD? Did these two face off against one another? Let me think about this. I think they were on. Hey, did you guys play each other at UD the other day? Okay. Wait, they haven't played. What is it? They say he said they play each other like every single time. It feels like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, these two ends. I think they usually just go back and forth. Um. Encore Esports, located at 538 Main Street in New oh, Rochelle, yeah. New York. It's the side entrance on the second floor, open from 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. daily. All these different kinds of tournaments. We have a different tournament for every day of the week, and you can win money off of it. How much more? What more incentive do you need to get out of your house than to go play video games for money? And then uh, it's also a really good incentive to meet really cool people, and you get to like, you That's know, find yeah, find yeah. lifelong <laughs> friends. Sometimes you know, money can't buy you love. Uh, and it is every Thursday, Smashdown Thursday nights at Encore Esports. Five do eight dollars to enter the a venue. Seven dollars for singles. Five dollars for doubles. Double starts at six thirty. Singles starts at 7.30, but if you lose in singles, it's not over there. There is a second chance bracket. You will have an opportunity to yeah. make it back all the way, even get even yeah, possibly so, win that money. So if it's double lose. elimination, then also the way the second chance works is that if you lose, if you go one and two or worse, like if you go 0 and 2 or 1 and 2, you get put in a bracket with all the other people who went 0 and 2 and 1 and 2, and you duke it out, and then whoever wins that gets free entry for the next week. So you always have a chance to, even if you're not like confident in yourself, if you're worried about going to a tournament and fighting only really good people who are just going to mess you up, keep in mind, even if you get knocked out early, you get to play against a lot of other people who maybe are at the same level as you, and you can make friends, maybe make rivals who you can grow along with, so that's really cool. Absolutely, and you see right now on the screen we have Road to Defend the North. On the 29th, we're going to be having the Super Smash Brothers Melee Tournament, and the day after on the 30th, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. The previous tournaments have all been played out, and... What is the deal with Road to Defend the North? You can get free tickets and hotel venue if you win yes, the tournament. The winner, the winner of the tournament gets free entry and free uh, a free hotel down in New York City at the New Yorker Hotel, which is where all of this good stuff is going to be happening. And if you haven't signed up for Defend the North, then you're weird and wrong and you should feel bad about yourself. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be that aggressive. But truly, like this is a huge tournament that's happening and we need to show our support and love. Wave bounce. I've never heard of this. Get it off my screen. <laughs> Get it off my screen. I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. Wave off bounce. Screen. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Wave off bounce. Screen. I'm kidding. Uh, wave bounce. Screen. I'm kidding. Uh, wave bounce. Screen. I'm kidding. Uh,
Yep. What you were just watching was an advertisement for Wave Bounce. Starting on August 3rd, there is going to be a Smash tournament held. It's at, at, a, at a trampoline, trampoline park. Which, which actually sounds so cool. Did you see that? Have you, There's five. Have you never been to a cool, trampoline park? Before? I have actually never been to it. I've been to something I've similar. I've been to a trampoline not. park called Bounce over in Rockland. It is so much fun. You get to play dodgeball. They have Hopefully basketball it's a good hoops. Workout. It, it, it is. You, you're, oh, yeah. you're going there. You're jumping the whole time. You get to hang out on the trampolines and all that stuff, and you get to enter a Smash tournament. So for the physical nerds out there, please go. We no, need I your actually, support. I really want to. I want to fantasy draft the five v five crew battle that for would uh, be really for cool. dodgeball because yeah. I really wonder who the best dodgeball players are. The in best this athletes, athletes in, this, in this group. <laughs> no, there's some pretty like. Oh yeah, see, definitely. Dude, friggin' bars the journey could squash my head with his biceps. So we have a Yoshi versus a Pokemon trainer. Um. I think this might be a good matchup for Pokemon Trainer. Am I am I crazy? To think I personally that? think it's a good matchup for Pokemon Trainer, but definitely not unreasonable. I it's the sort of thing where I personally have never taken a set from Noku, but definitely Mile has been able to do that before. Um, wow, what a good juggle together combo right there by by Noku. Yeah, and I, I will say that at the, the the start of the game, being able to deal with Squirtle is huge for Yoshi because Yoshi really likes to get his low percent combos in. And if it's, it, like, if you're able to force them into uh, going Ivysaur before they've already done about the 75%, then it could be huge because otherwise, ooh, this is so scary. You're above an Ivysaur and you just die. Wow. Like, look at that. And there we saw in the previous Yoshi matchup we had, who was it that had <laughs> very that? bad kill percentage? I can't remember, but um, right there you see the Ivysaur kill power. Oh, yeah. Definitely is the impact there. And the weight did not matter. Yoshi was gone. Yeah, dude. And now we're back to sort of how this game started, where those Squirtle combos just doing out 54% real quick. And now the Ivysaur is once again here. And I'm like, even these are 68%, I'm still scared for Miles' life. Oh, what a parry, though. Good use of projectiles right there, but mm -hmm. it's just not enough. It, 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 really yeah. much better recovery by Mile, as good as the use of the projectiles. Yeah. That's, oh my god, no. beautiful DI. Didn't die from it right there, but now... We see the Charizard out. We're at over yeah, 100 Yeah, and this is like a perfect place for Charizard. You imagine if he lands a grab, it's going to be deadly. Uh, yeah. No, but good job from Mayo being able to stuff that out. And, oh my god, so I love that. He actually doesn't swip to Ivysaur. Instead, he stays Squirtle and uses the fear to get a grab in. And now, all right, but this could be huge. Big damage? No. Noku's just going to get away with not eating that much. Oh, man. Noku's dash attacks with the Ivysaur are actually so good. <laughs> like, that move is not good, but he makes it look, it just when he uses it, it's like the perfect time to use it. Really good use of the Vine Whip right there by oh, Noku. Oh, yeah. That down throw is, it, the fact that Ivysaur has two kill throws is huge. Yes. Oh, but, wow, and look at Noku actually tapping That was an flat. awesome juggle. And we are yeah. dead even, you could say. Right, this is definitely even. About 22% onto Mile, but, I, I mean, I think the big thing is that whether or not these guys can make, like, if it ends up being a last hit situation, it's going to be super up in the air, but... Nobody has been dictating this match at any point. Oh, yeah, no, it's been back and forth all the time. But we're seeing already Yoshi over 100% damage. Still have a little bit of wiggle room, but you imagine if we if we see Noku change out to Ivysaur or Charizard, you're going to have to start playing a lot more defensive. Yeah, here, look at this. Now he has to be scared of a lot of things like that forward smash. He didn't smash. even have time. He changes Pokemon, he gets that forward smash, and it just launches. Gone. So long. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Noku takes the first match in that one. Yeah, and that was actually super good from Noku. Mile managing to keep himself in the running there, but at the end, it's it feels like that, like you know, Mile got that huge burst to even things up. But Noku's just been consistently getting damage, consistently been getting those alleged traps, being able to close out stocks very reliably. So now it's a matter of whether Mile can 
channel in, get, maybe tap in a little bit more to that sort of burst potential, the huge combos, those stock-ending juggles. The variety of uh, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, Pokemon Trainer was the was actually the difference there, and you know you you think that that's the, the most obvious strategic advantage of Pokemon Trainer, but you learn to overcome it. In that previous match, it was the po if you, I don't know if Ma uh, if Noku would have actually won had he been playing a different character. Well, I mean, Noku's obviously a very good player. Yes. Um, but the, the 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 rotation of the Pokemon used it's the was the difference. If yeah, you ask me. one of the really good one of the really cool things about Pokemon Trans. Oh my God! Uh, about him Ooh. is like the quick swapping, which people would you wouldn't think that like oh you see your opponent switch to Ivy, so of course you know that you would get forward smashed at the ledge, you know? That's what Noku loves to do. Yeah. But, like, when you're in the game, you know, he'll switch to Ivysaur, and it takes you a mind a second to readjust to, now these are the things I have to be worried about. Yeah. And that's why, like, both of those times, he just switched to Ivysaur and then immediately went for that forward smash, and it worked. But right now, Mile is finally got getting a lead here, only 95%, and Noku actually going Charizard. I don't know if he's going to stay with him for long, but you can, it I looks bet like you he is. will. He's probably waiting to take that first stock. Try and take as little damage as possible. We're seeing the shield deployed a ah. whole lot, but now Squirtle comes out. Yeah, no, I actually think that was a really smart decision. He went Charizard, and then he sensed that uh, that Maya wasn't scared of him, you know? Yeah. And Charizard needs the opponent to be scared of him. Because right. otherwise, you know, you know, the opponent could just dance around him, run train all over him. And now it's very interesting that we're seeing, we saw, it was just, I guess, a directional mistake. We have Squirtle well, actually, back no, out. He needs, to, he needs to swap into uh, Ivy. Uh, if he's Ivysaur, he needs to go to Charizard before he can go back to Squirtle. Oh, did not so, know that. Yeah, but like some players, they won't even risk going back to Squirtle because of how much they fear getting hit as Charizard. But Noku obviously is just like, nah, I'm going to go Charizard for even though it's just brief time. I'm going to gain back some stage, and I'm going to go to the character that I really want to be. Now, right my now. question for you right there, why didn't Mile try for the juggle while he had Ivysaur floating down? Uh, it could have been like he was trying to respect... Uh, respect Noku's options. Down air from Ivysaur is really scary. Back air as well. So Could have been him play. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, I mean, in a way, but it's also like you don't know. He didn't want to end up being above an Ivysaur. You yeah. know, he's like, I remember you telling me that last time. Uh, being directly above an Ivysaur is the most deadly place that you can be in an entire Smash game. Oh, yeah. Arguably. In the universe. <laughs> in the universe. In the universe. Uh, and so, like, it's the sort of thing where, in that situation, yes, he could try and go for some, you know, extra combo, but right now he's in the lead, and you saw right there, he went for that extra up air, and he ended up above Ivysaur without a double jump, and that's really scary to do. Oh, great job of the down smash. Fine whip right there. Yeah, another great Good grab, but ooh, the heaviness. We're seeing the... The, the kill power of Ivysaur and Charizard basically is neutralizing the heaviness of Yoshi in this matchup. Oh, yeah. No, we are not seeing him live to those crazy high percent. 180, like, 190, yeah. that's not the case. We're seeing 130. We haven't seen Yoshi live past 140% in this matchup. Oh, yeah. And it's the sort of thing where, like, he can also, by that same token, die at 80. In fact, that might be Noku's game plan right now. You see that he's trying to just get hit after hit so that maybe he can bring Yoshi to that point where, like, down throw, up B would kill. Not quite yet. Yeah, he's going to go for the up air. Oh, my God, that's so scary. I think, yeah, no, he wants this grab. I and think grab at the ledge might kill. I think that's what he's looking you're for. You're definitely uh, not thinking about using the Charizard too big and you have taken too much damage at this point. Ivysaur and Squirtle, the smaller of the two choices, definitely what you want to do. So try to see him go for the juggle right there. Not able to complete it, but he does have a ledge guard, and this is exactly where you want to be at this percentage. Oh man, I think he, he might be out of the range. Him, okay, he might be out of the range of down throw up B. So we're very close to an even match again. Oh, 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 this is actually super even. This he's is, off this stage. Is, this is just a comeback. Oh my god, that was just amazing. Using the on double that jump. Last oh, hit. That, so let me just explain. Please tell hit. me. Uh, so. Yoshi has double jump armor when he jumps. And in this game, he gets reduced knockback after he gets hit. Which means that that down air broke his armor, but it didn't have enough hit, to, have enough knockback to actually like make force him into a tech on the ground. So he just landed on the ground. He's just like, oh, you're still up there? Who goes up and hits him with the upper? So that was beautiful use of the double jump armor that Yoshi has. Um, I think that maybe Noku has to remember to respect that a little bit more as we move into, is this game three? This is game three. Winner take all.
I mean, dead oh even. God. We don't know if this actually gets into finals. I didn't even realize oh, we were in semis. We're in semis. Already. Wow. This has been flying by. Time oh, flies yeah. when you're having fun. Also, here at Encore, we have like 18 setups. So yeah, that's not even that when surprising. We, even when we have a 54-man tournament or whatever tonight was, we, we make sure to get things done on time. Fairly even to start seeing just the Squirtle so far. Obviously, you want to get those combos out there. Not, no change yet, but percentage is only separated by three. Wow, that was actually such a good swap. He baited him with that with the uh, the Squirtle withdraw, and in the end, managed to actually get a uh, grab with Ivysaur. But now he's, yeah, let's see that. So Yoshi's uh, double jump armor, it's knockback based. And although it doesn't seem like it, Ivysaur's down air, has, it's very weak. Meaning that Yoshi can armor through it until very late percents. Wow, oh my god, just runs up and standing grabs. It's crazy. No clear advantage at this moment. Ooh, good use of the projectile right there. And these two baiting, almost almost trying to bait him into the ledge guard, but decides it's a better decision to just get back on the stage and take the brain back to the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. A good back here out of shield. I will say that, um, like, we've been seeing... <laughs> and that for the first time in this series, Yoshi's living past 150%, and he's oh, just gosh. playing incredibly well-timed defense by Miles. That's like a very you've seen there already a few times, and he intercepts the recovery. That's There's a tons of firsts in this game three. First time that we're seeing Yoshi really last this long. First time we've seen Mile could successfully complete an edge guard. First time we've seen Charizard break. The defense by Mile has just been so well-timed and perfect. It's It's... It's, yeah. It may be the difference in why he wins this match. Oh, but finally gets the grab. Up throw doesn't do it? That's incredible. Oh my god. It, with the strongest Pokemon of all of them. Maybe it's, he should have just been sticking with the Ivysaur the whole time. Because the funny thing is, he, you saw that he got that up throw, and he switched to Squirtle because he thought he was dead. Yeah. And then saw he was alive, he's like, crap, now I have to go back to Ivysaur. And so now he's stuck as Ivysaur and he dies. And Look at the expression on his face. He cannot believe that that Mile up throw from Charizard. Miles still stop. has all three stocks, but just as I say that, takes the, takes the side hit, gets to 191, flies out of the arena. And, but now Noku, so this is the thing, Noku can sometimes have a hard time getting his head back into the game within like, you know, the same game. Like if something stupid happens to him, it can be kind of, it can kind of really wear down on him and that's what we're seeing. He thought that Charizard up throw was going to kill. He was so certain, but as we saw it just throwing didn't. Throwing your opponent out of their zone of comfort, especially oh, at this yeah. late of stage in the tournament, is what allows for wins to happen and we see it right there. Mile doing a great job guaranteeing himself third place. He's going to be in winner's finals now as he takes out Noku. And uh, the, you can see Noku's face. Really, that all came down to that Charizard up throw not killing. Yeah. I, I'm we sorry. were all surprised by I, it. I was super. I could not believe that he survived it at 170. Charizard needs to get buffed, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, Charizard needs to get buffed, and Ivysaur needs to get just like a little bit nerfed. So we got Stir the Kid coming back up on the game, also going up against Zaxel. Oh, rude. Yeah, so Zaxel, we haven't actually got the chance to see him today. Uh, but this is his first time on stream, that is great. Yep. And it's winter semifinal, so it's a pretty he's, important he's one. He's dodged the stream the entire time. Neat. Um, uh, and so that's this is probably going to be Ness versus Bowser. I know that. What Zaxel, a. What a Pairing of opposites. As much as right. Ness and Ganondorf. Oh, yeah. Even more so. Uh, and Zaxel is a player that whoop, he's been doing really well lately. Uh, I could see him taking the whole tournament. I don't know the record between him and Mile. I also say, I think, is this the farthest Stir has ever. If he wins here, this is the best Stir's ever placed, it's right? It's certainly possible, I believe so. Stir has never gotten third before. Yeah, what? Stir yeah. is already. This is already he's the already furthest Stir the best has done advanced here? at okay, Encore. Yeah. So already he is outplacing. Uh, yeah, already he, this is the best he's ever done. He wants to carry that momentum. The difference between getting fifth at Encore, which is big, it's like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I got fifth. And getting third at least, the chance to win an Encore, he's already made it to semis. He's only, if you think about it, one, two, three sets away from winning the tournament. But at this moment in time, Stir can't get complacent. Oh, he can't. He can't be satisfied with getting this far. You have to keep up the intensity. 
treat it like you're still in the first round. It's easy to say, but if we act, but are we actually going to see that executed mentally? We'll find out right now. Then again, funnily enough, it, once you get that, once you sort of reach your goal, it can become easier to play. There's less pressure on yourself. Once you're like, I've already made it as far as I thought I we could. We call it playing I with house money. You're, you're, you're not, you're, you're not gonna lose anything betting on yourself because you've already won the bet. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh jeez. The, the house the always Bowser wins. The Bowser recovery is. So awful, I forgot. That wasn't even Bowser recovery. That was just that a was good just beautiful down spike. Buster. <laughs> oh my god. And immediately retaliates. He gets like, what, 65%? Zaxel not letting this affect him too much, but. That side I, smash can be so very cool. deadly. Oh my god, oh this my is so god. cool! What an amazing too job! It, we're speed running I, this I, game, I, dude. I guarantee you we are going to see a character change from Zaxel. I. Oof, maybe. He's been saying that he. Uh, who's just committing to the Bowser. But if this game ends in a three stock, I think we might see a Ridley. He has to. It, 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 I don't necessarily think he has to. I think that there are also a lot of personal like game adjustments he could make. But right now, the combos, are you kidding me? 53, is he gonna kill him? Oh my God, he almost did. <laughs> I am loving the way this it, It's right now. really the way the Bowser recovery is just not good. <laughs> Oh, and he's so just good timing, good timing by Stir, terrible terrible recovery by Bowser. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit limited once you get knocked down there, but like, it's it's also by the engineering of Stir. Back throw's not going to do it, but it's going to be huge. He's about to end this in a three stock, it looks like. And there it is. Wow. Three stocks him. Did you see the little fist bump? Did you see the adorable little fist bump Stir did? He like did a fist bump, but he didn't want people to know he did a fist bump, so he was like low to the ground like... <laughs> I mean, it's always, you, you, when you're in semifinals and you three stock, you have to you know, take when a little bit of When you three stock one of the best players in Westchester, like that looked like round one, but Zaxel is an amazing player. And I think we're probably going to see a little bit of that. He's going to be sticking, with, sticking, the sticking with the Bowser. I think what he believes is that it was just, you know, wrong, kind of a wrong place, wrong time scenario in that I, last I match, think which did lead to two of those stocks being taken so early. I think also part of it is Stur is a very momentum-based player. Yes. And it's like... Switching characters is almost going to give him more momentum. You know? Yeah. It's, it's like it's showing that you're that you that you've given up with this specific person, so you need to go with someone else. Oh, and he heals all the way back up with that flame. The flame throw was actually I guess, a fire breath. I forget what that move's called. Fire but, breath, I believe. Yeah. And now Stir is finally the not just running train over him. Yes, it's a much definitely more even than the previous map. And it's also important to remember, like, we didn't get to see it last time around. Bowser is scary, dude. He's at death percent right now. Absolutely, he could if die he if he's not careful. he hits him with, with, with a side smash. Even back here, you saw from mid-stage yeah. almost killed. Oh, my God, the forward tilt. And there it is. Yep, I, I do think that it was not the character that was the problem. It was just That's bad so luck. Yep, yeah, like, just needed to refresh his own mentality and remind Stir why he should be really scared. You know, it's him. because he hit that jewel that he's doing so much better now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't smoke. Smoking's bad. Oh my god, he disrespects him! The dis... The, the no, 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 don't die! Don't die! And we just no. see that recovery not being the... That was... He didn't need to do what that. the heck just happened? Oh, Everyone's SD'ing all over the place, but it's not an SD, uh. but it is an SD. I mean, that one... So, he... I like the idea of double tapping. But he, I really don't think he needed to hit him with the down air. And by doing that, he put himself in such an awkward position. Uh, I honestly no think recovery. that I honestly think that game three is if he doesn't, if Stir doesn't take this game, I don't think we're gonna see Pokemon Stadium two again. <laughs> I think that's like the second time today he's had like it's the stage is messed up his recovery. That should be something for other people to notice again. Uh, notice that are going to be playing Stir the Kid, but. You know, you're not really thinking about that right now. You're just thinking about who the guy that you're facing. You're not thinking about the next round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get all that damage on him and then die. Right here. <laughs> all right, that game was a two-stock. Almost. Th this is this is a, the most ex interesting series that we have had all night. Explosive I don't think it, it, both ways around. It, yeah. It's just so impressive. It, the one the first match completely dominated the second match completely dominated oh, how yeah. is the third match going to play out Ooh, i think that a stage change might be really good i uh, think and i think we will see that did they we'll play the that? previous two matches at pokemon stadium both? i think both games are on pokemon stadium who uh, gets the counter pick then here so 
Uh, Zaxo gets two bans, but Stir gets the choice. It looks like we are going to be running it right back. I, I think that the big problem with that stage did have to do with Stir's recovery. And if he's just a little bit more careful, then he doesn't have to worry about it. But Stir, I really, he needs to keep his composure. And he's a very well composed guy. But like, Right now, he has the chance to make it into winner's finals. He just needs to take one more game. He's shown, obviously, that he has the potential to do that. It's just a matter of whether he can play that well one more time to get there, or whether Zaxo can stop him in his place. No clear advantage so far. Both players feeling each other out, getting in hits. You're seeing Zaxel not afraid to execute the shield. A lot of shield because we saw in the previous match taking that unnecessary damage, taking those unnecessary hits gets him off stage and it makes it a lot harder for him to actually yeah. get back into this. Oh my god, the up smash completely taking him out. Stir though actually gives a bit of a head nod, doesn't beat himself up about it, acknowledges what he did wrong right there and now he's just like, let me just move on to the next stage of this battle. It's like when a quarterback throws an interception in the NFL, they say that the quarterback has to have a short memory. That's exactly what Stir has to do here. Forget about that last stock that's in the past. Now you have to worry about this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he goes on low again. That time he gets the recovery. Super good from him. I love that. Good use of PK, fi PK fire right there. Yeah, and the up air is not going to quite do it, but he's the getting heavy, closer and closer. We're seeing that heaviness of Bowser playing an effect here and making, that making the kills difficult. There it is, finally. Gets an up smash to close it out, and now stirs at 44%. Still within the round, still within reason that he can catch up. Exactly. Oh, definitely. One good Ness combo. Oh, but what a read with that down smash and a forwarder putting him off stage. Every time you are hit by Bowser, you're taking all 20 to 30% damage. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. Absolutely. Oh my god, he had no invincibility, but not really actually threatened there. Okay, this could be huge. Gets another re-grab, possibly even more damage with these forward airs. Oh, great combo break from Zaxel, and now he's going to be in position to take the stock. I am with, waiting with bated breath. This could be a huge, huge win for Sturt if he can manage to eke this one out, but it's going to be a and mountain still, to climb. And we still have not seen a comeback yet tonight, I don't believe. I really don't think we have. We've seen set comebacks, but not comeback like this within a game. Will he be the first one to show it to us? It's worrisome because he's taking it. Be big! Down here to close that out. This what might be a it. Good, good move by <laughs> Stir right there. Wow. We are. This is. This what can go anyway. anyway. What's happening? Oh my god, they're oh. both down there. They're both fine. He a lot of damage. But Every it's not time good Bowser's hitting him, it's just. It's devastating. Oh yeah. Oh, he just go again with that PK fire. This time Zaxxel was ready for it. He finally gets his first hit in. An forward air to put him off stage. He wanted the big play, and it, there, there it, it is. is. Yeah, great stuff to both players. Stir doing such a good job making it this far, all the way to winner's semis. He still has loser's bracket, but Zaxel is going to be the one who takes it and is going to be moving on and the to only winner's way, finals. The only way to describe what just happened there was that it was tied at one stock apiece, and there's no doubt that Zaxel won that stock. It, it, Here's the thing, though. Actually, if you notice at the end, remember where Stir hit him with the he got the grab one for forward air, and then he like did like down beat, kind of went really low with that down air. Yeah. If he had positioned himself a little bit better, if Zaxel had messed up and like di'd the wrong way, that probably would have been the game. Yeah. For but Stir. You know what? Like it, if you, you saw, he went down. Sometimes that deep. it's a little if, bit better to be lucky than good, and we see that case right here. Yeah. Uh, and that means that now. Winner's Finals is going to be Mayo versus Zaxel. Really cool. I haven't seen that type of Winner's Finals here in a, in a long time, if not ever. Uh, but I think we're going to be stepping into the loser's bracket first. There's going to be a lot of great loser's matches going on. A lot of players, a lot of demons still floating around in there. I don't. I think Ralphie is still in, probably. I think, and then of course, we've seen Stir and Noku are both going to be uh, waiting. I think on. I'm going to be signing off at uh, this moment in time, though. I have to go to bed and search for apartments. Have a good encore, everybody. All right. Uh, also, guys, there's the monthly on Sunday. Please go to it. But I need, I need, I need, I need, I need it. Actually, I don't need it. You guys need it. You guys need to go to this. It's seriously going to be super cool. Um, can we maybe get myself a replacement on for the co-caster? Is Fang doing anything? Is Fang still in bracket? Local man, Maddie. Uh... Great stuff. Hmm. 
You know what, maybe I'll just do solo commentary, but I'll do what reclined. Passover style. Uh, the, way, the, way, the way the Lord intended. Okay, put the camera back on me so they can understand just how much, how peaceful this solo commentary I'm going to have is going to be. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah, so on Saturday, Super Smash Down 9, Road to Defend the North. <laughs> it's <laughs> People are making eye contact with me. Oh, no. Uh, the winner of this, of course, the winner of this Melee tournament gets free venue and free hotel for Defend the North. So send all of the really good Melee players there. Uh, you know, the New York scene uh, hasn't been at quite as active lately between, you know, Ultimate coming out and also overall, like, I don't think there are really any new, new, there are new York tournaments. Weekly is going on for Melee, so let's get all of those players who have been hiding to come out and do a great showing. And now we're going to be moving on to this one, which is Ralphie versus Sir the Kid. Sir, of course, we just saw that really close set with uh, Zaxel, and he's going to be facing off against Ralphie. Now, Ralphie is a player that we have known for a long time here in the scene. He's always been super solid. His fundamentals are fantastic. It's just, uh, uh, is he, is he going to be playing Palu? Oh yeah, hey guys. Draw me like one of your French girls. Um, uh, but anyway, <laughs> so it's gonna be Ness versus Palutena then. I I feel like this matchup is pretty bad for Ness, if I remember correctly. Palutena just has such good range, great speed, very good disadvantage. She's just a character with not very clear defined weaknesses. The closest thing Palutena has to a weakness is like, not doesn't have a super great combo breaker move that you can just throw out to get out of a bad situation. You know, frame data for the most part on the slower side. Um, but if the rest of her kit is just she's so mobile, she has such good range, it makes up for it in the end. And now Stir, who has been doing a great job tonight, he's going to be facing off against another demon. But <laughs> and if he can't make it through Ralphie, that's it. He's done. Out at fifth when he was in winner's semis, almost in winner's finals just a moment ago. So we'll see if he's able to keep his composure or whether Ralphie, who has just a, been around the scene, been so do has had errors of dominance, whether he's going to be able to keep his own momentum going and move on in loser's bracket where he still wants to take the whole tournament, you know? All right, a super dominant beginning for Ralphie. He's managed to just out 150 with relatively unanswered, only about 48% on his own, and oh, this neutral air is coming out strong. And I have to say, if you just saw that last set between Zaxel and Stir, uh, one of the real strengths that Stir has is just aggressive momentum. He gets that one and he wants to do everything he can. But Palutena, not really a character that that play style will work that great against. You have to be more careful. You have to realize that making a single mistake, getting nared can lead to a bunch of damage. You know, it's, and she has the range where just throwing out moves isn't going to work out for you that well. And Sturge's just adjustment has maybe not come to fruition here. Oh, right as I say that, I think maybe Ralphie was hoping that the, uh, that he would be, that when Ness hits the PK Thunder 2, his di uh, distance that he covers gets reduced, but he was close enough to still make it back after that. And oh my god, as I was saying that maybe that sort of aggressive play style isn't the best thing to do against Palutena, he dishes out 50% or so in the first blink of an eye once Ralphie respawns. And that means that this is not an unreasonable game for him. 130%, 144, and he's still living. And Ralphie, as a player, as we've seen earlier when he lost, I believe it was he had a very big lead, and then he ended up losing it to... It wasn't to Stir, was it? No, not to... What? Yeah, sorry, just getting a couple confirmation. Noku was the one who knocked him into losers. He was actually on the other side of losers right now, so it could also be that Ralphie wants to get that run back as long as Noku wins his respective set. Oh, jeez, and this is starting to get out of hand for Stir. 80%, that's a game one just gone for him. Ralphie playing that beautifully, really taking advantage of Ness in the corner, Ness above him. He is such a smart Player. He realizes the weaknesses that the other character has, and his character has the, especially as Palutena here, has the strengths necessary to exploit that. And that is just what he is doing. 
We're moving on to game two. Uh, it looks like it's going to once again be on Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, Sir has been playing on the stage a lot. I think it might be a comfort pick. And although I don't necessarily think it's a good stage against Palutena, it is his call. And uh, we'll see whether it works out for him in the second game. Is he going to switch? <gasps> he is! Oh, this is the first time I've seen his Lucas on stream. All right. Now, Lu he, of course, back in Smash 4, dual mains Lucas and Ness. Mainly rocking the Ness by the end of the uh, game's lifespan. But Lucas is a very different character, but I've heard him express in his own words he really likes Lucas in this game because he uses every one of his moves. That was something that he didn't really do in the last game, you know? Lucas had a few really good moves, and he would basically just stick to those. But this time around, and you will see every single one of the moves in his kit. Neutral air, down air, back air... F tilt, up tilt, everything is going to be, you know, it's it's all part of the game plan. And already seems to be working out better for him. What was at this, like, I think last game started with a 150% lead. Now it's neck and neck. Actually, slight lead for Stir. But part of that might also be that, A, Ralphie probably hasn't fought against as many Lucases. And also just needs to readjust, you know. Stur just had an entire game playing against his... Uh, this Palutena, whereas this is only the first minute of facing down Sturz Lucas. And as time goes on, it might be that the adjustments will come into place. We'll see whether or not that lead was just a gimmick or not. <laughs> if Sturz can manage to even up the stock count at the very least here. And it has been pretty grim to start. Good forward air, though, taking it. Ralphie nodding to himself, realizing, yep, yeah, no, I know exactly why I got hit by that forward air. And I will also say, when, when you see a good player like that lose a stock and they not, it means that they're respecting their opponent, which means that they're probably not going to get tilted so easily if they do, you know, start to lose. You know, if you're nodding when your opponent takes stocks, then you're acknowledging that, like, I respect what you did right there. And usually when people get salty about falling behind, it's because they don't respect their opponents. They feel like they shouldn't be, you know, playing from behind at all because I'm better than they are. But Rafi clearly not feeling that way at all right now. And he has been playing beautifully ever since. 103% on Stir is not something that he can be too happy about. That back air almost was huge. <gasps> this, okay, that... <laughs> I actually, I was saying before how I miss PK Freeze. I don't know why. PK Freeze is just so funny to me. <laughs> it's not a very good move, but it stuns opponents for so long, and it sends them at, like, the weirdest knockback and everything. I think he forgot which character he was playing there, because he went for the up B as if he was an S. Um, still not unreasonable. 122% on Ralphie. I'm, I'm, the only thing is I'm not sure exactly what Lucas has to kill. You know, of course he used to have his throw combos, but as you see right there, he only has kill throws now, and that up throw was not quite enough, but good job catching the landing with an up air. He's going to be sitting in a position where, as long as he plays his cards right, as long as he does not fall victim to his character's own weaknesses, he could definitely take this, but Ralphie has been, ever since he came back from that Halo platform, giving him work. Okay, finally opening un up just a little bit. Okay, fires to add on extra percent, but I like that. Not overextending, not trying to rush him down when he knows he doesn't actually have frame advantage or anything like that. He's getting off of the ledge pretty easily, too. Oh, my, this back throw is big. I don't think he wanted that up smash. You can tell by the shake of his head. And now this is a position where I... Okay, all right. I think that PK Fire was... I, that, sorry, that PK Freeze was a bait seems to be working out okay for him. He is still alive. He is still getting damage here and there. Is that going to be... Oh, I thought maybe that that Zare would lead to something big. He heals for a lot off of that explosive flame. That is something that this character does have. You know, can't throw it out quite as freely as normally Ralphie might like to, but the forward are going to find its mark, and that is it. Stur doing an amazing job tonight, playing super well, but not quite able to overcome Ralphie and losers. Uh, quarters, and that means that Ralphie is going to be moving on. Stir dropping out of fifth place, which I think is still his best uh, showing yet. So good stuff to him. Who do we got on the other side of things? Bobo versus Noku. All right. I think I might need a bit of a break. Uh, my brain is mush mush right now. Actually. What?
I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll stick with it. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down the fort. I am the best solo commentator in the world. I'm gonna live up to this, goddamn it. What? You were playing bad? Really, you were playing bad? I'm pretty sure you just got swamped on, dude. What? You got swamped on. There's nothing. I know because you got hit. There's nothing. There's no bad. Po Freaking Zax is coming over here being like, I played bad, and that's the only reason that I almost got JV3 in game one. That's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just playing bad. <laughs> it's like, when you play bad, it's like, oh man, I can't believe I played bad. Like, that game was so close. When you get, like, two, when you get your first two stocks deleted in the first 30 seconds, that's not you playing bad, that's your opponent playing really well, alright? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you messed up. Obviously, you messed up. Because if you didn't mess up, you wouldn't have gotten a hit. Alright, but next we got Nuku versus Bobo. I hope you guys enjoyed that shouting match, one-sided. But you could understand. You knew exactly what Zaxel was saying. You didn't even have to hear him. You know, it's when you hear a com phone conversation, you feel on the other side, and you can't understand what they were saying. You guys know that Zaxel was just jawing. <laughs> oh, are you leaving? No. Oh, you're going there. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing, man. Anyway, so this next match coming up, Bobo versus Noku, the Defend the North special. <laughs> what? Uh, Bobo because Noku dumbed. I don't know what, what's fun. All right. I don't know what that means. Am I on? All right, cool. What? Oh. Turn, turn you down or up? Right here. Hey, all right. Okay, I feel like a dingus now. We're getting into this game. Noku versus Bobo. Didn't these two just play on Tuesday? I don't know, actually. Uh, these two play all the time. But Bobo, uh, um, I think, has the positive record. I mean, makes sense. I mean, <laughs> I, these two, even in Smash 4 when they were doing Diddy Kong Dittos, Bobo had, like, a pretty good record on him, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess it may maybe it's like a player thing, uh, but even it's no longer a, like a straight ditto. Instead, we're having Pokemon Trainer versus uh, Diddy Kong. Now, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, number one, you're gonna see a lot of that. It's probably even because I, I don't know, but I know Diddy has a sauce in some uh, some aspects. Uh, yeah, no clue hitting buttons right now. Oh, he's dead. Wait, oh, messed up. You would not have died from that at 30. I, I've died from that at 30 and I'm Bowser. They knocked well, back on that That's because you were back. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. The knockback on that move is ridiculous. Not ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. How do you realize Bobo has two stocks? What happened? Oh yeah, well, I don't know what happened. Uh, oh. I got up air or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. you did the kick, you did the kick. Oh, nice recovery. Okay, that neutral air is always like not uh, negative on head, right? When you when you land with it. It, yeah, but sometimes it'll pop you off with your And if you're not ready for it, jab. Down throw down there? Nope. Noku knows because it's apparently called the Noku. Down That's not the Noku. Down the Noku down is charging forward smash at ledge, which Ivy saw, and your opponent walks into it. Yeah. <laughs> jumping from ledge. Yeah, somehow, for some reason, that hits jumping and that hits uh, ledge stall. There even hits ledge stall. Ooh, that was a great cross up. With dash attack, yeah. Yeah, but also picking Always up banana dead. in the process. Uh, Noku putting his head in his hands. <laughs> there was also some. Earlier on, there was. Did he have an SD? I remember there was a really. I mean, a big. It might oops. have been Bobo. No, no, it was, no, no, no. I'm saying in this winner set, he had an oops. Uh, when he played watching. against Mile. I wasn't watching. I forget what it was, but I remember he was really Wow, Bubble Buzz time. all the way back. I mean, Noku also helped him. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> That's also correct. They worked together to, have, to give Bobo a lead. That's weird. Noku would never do that. So I was just surprising. Good for you, Noku. Uh, where did that come from? 
Ooh! Oh, wrong way. Should just look for the up air. Oh, it's been terrible. Oh, my God. That was so risky from Bobo. Not, the, not dead. What? Is this going to be it, possibly? Another up air. I think you might be able to survive one more, like, low to the ground up air, but after that, this is going to be real, real grim. Yeah, I got it. Still works, boys. And girls. <sighs> so, do you think that there was anything that happened? Like, obviously, no Ku SD. Do you think there were any adjustments that Bobo took by the end of that game beyond Way more passive. Mm. Except for that one edge guard. And the one edge guard almost really cost him. Exactly. That was really scary. Besides that, he took banana and he was precautious. And I think he just read what Nova wanted to do, which was a lot of grabs. Yeah, down to a low percent is very bad in this game with Diddy. It was in the last game too, but not as bad. Oh yeah. What? That. That was smart. Squirtle, Squirtle was nuts. That, that definitely was not on purpose knowing Noku. Uh, di didn't he play Diddy Kong? No, no, no. What he did was he did F2. Forward tilted and yeah, yeah. It, it, he uh, low profiled. But like yeah. the thing is, Noku spams forward tilt with Squirtle. Then again, no, I honestly, like one of the reasons he spams forward tilt is because that does that with a lot of moves. Yeah. Like, it makes him so tiny. I saw that coming from my area too. He always does that ledge too. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, the, the... I actually kind of... The, it was really cool from Bobo. He, the fact he had that banana there meant that Noku couldn't just like reliably buffer an option after going for that, you know, ledge drop Ooh. on up B. Yeah. So he just ran in and punished him. That was a good thing to on the action by Bobo. Bobo's reaction time is pretty good too. Uh, I know what, <gasps> what a snipe! Oh, wow. and no tech. He stayed in that. If he had CI, he probably could have gone out. You know, SCI is probably not as popular in this game as it is not true. Oh, Bobo needs us to take this stuck with like a back air or something like that. Or kill me. Oh, here we go, yep. Again, a forward smash. And now, one combo, and this is even. This is basically even right now, actually. Man, you can always so like. Uh, these two always felt like similar to me, you know, not not just because of uh, like like foils. I feel like these two players are very foil for each other. You know, both in terms of how they play, how they approach the game, the fact that they used to play the same character and their respective play styles were, you know, very distinctly shown. But also like just look at them in their seats. The fact that like Bobo is for the most part staying very he has, like a little bit of jumps, but I feel like Noku doesn't move until he goes like foil. You know? <laughs> Bobo making eye contact with us as if we're supposed to. I mean, I, I relate to him, but we can't help him. It's unfortunate. One minute of Force Smash, though, will take it. Yeah, he always does that. Wow, that. I didn't even kill him with the buffs. Oh. Now, one thing I'm actually kind of wondering whether Noku would do a lot of. <laughs> what was that? Ooh. That, was, that was pretty cool. That was sick. Down tilt into banana, throw into forward air. That was clean. Diddy Kong still got the sauce, but oh my god, so the Squirtle. You know what? I will say one thing is I'm kind of waiting for Because Noku has a lot of experience with banana. Um, although I guess banana's mechanics did change a lot between games. I mean, it's still right? the same thing, though. But it is like in terms of its utility, because you can't use it out of shield the same way. You can't really, you know, it has the double hit property now. That, oh, was, that, like, it, that was a brawl thing. No, what do you mean? Well, like, like it, it, it disappears um, after two touches. Yeah, right? no, I'm talking about, but like in brawl, it really didn't. Well, Is he kill. dead? Oh, he went for the yeah, mix up too. He chased him. He chased him. See, no, I feel like mental play right here is going to be the biggest uh, 
the cider. Because Bobo looked really, really frustrated, and Noku is just, you know, relaxed, calm. Well, I mean, <laughs> the frustration coin can flip either way. Noku also very prone to frustration. I would say that, I don't know, that's always felt like more of a quintessential Noku thing, falling victim to that as opposed to Bobo. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know what, it's infectious. Because Bobo was playing against Noku, now Bobo is getting tilted like Noku would. Dash tag. Diddy Kong and DK both got dash tag combos. More Diddy though, but DK is wrong. <laughs> okay, I mean, we're all just going back and forth, cool. I mean, funny. if you're Squirtle, you don't want to be trading. Squirtle's hits do like 2% of pop, and even though Diddy Kong might not be like Ganon levels of damage, it's still better than Squirtle. He is taking control. Noku is trying to approach in the air, and he isn't pairing these bananas or expecting them, but he looks to grab. He trips on it. I'm also, I'm really liking this uh, stage counter pet. By Bobo? Yeah, Bobo. Like, he's been using the platforms super well with Banana. Being able to, like, Not lock Notice them. how Noku was in advantage state once. Oh, I should have backed through. Oh, nice read! Bro, that was so good. Wow. I, think may I, I feel like that was, like, good to option coverage. Maybe he was expecting, like, a tech, uh, it, like a tech roll away. But just by following through, we acted to the air dodge and finished him off. Whiff punishing everything Noku does. Yeah, he's just like, I should have switched to charge uh, Squirtle earlier. Oh! There's not the. Bobo's not gonna hit this whole stock. Oh! Woo! Okay, yo, I'm getting hyped for Bobo right now. This Diddy plays. Oh, okay. He's getting greedy. Oh, man, that DI, too. Like that. Get that. Get time he gets to the tech. Beautiful job. That move is so hard to tech. It's multi hit. It, like, you don't know when it's really gonna end. But good job from him, keeping him alive, and that might actually put him two stocks above. Yeah, Noku getting frustrated. Ooh. Yep, he sneaks from under, and oh, this is big. Yep. Now Noku, he is really down. You know, percentage definitely in Bobo's favor. But Ivy Store with Rage, super scary, and especially if he just doesn't die here. 30. 44. Still in the mix. The Vortex. Oh my god. Is Uppy gonna... Uh, that the Uppy is so scary right now. <gasps> Grab is that gonna do it? Is he dead? No. no. I missed that. I missed that. That was great DI by Bobo knowing that DI in. Oh, dash attack. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, Bobo actually audibly saying or ex exclaiming his uh, what? dismay. 55. Bobo was looking so good but no clue with the adaption. Noku's holding advantage stage so well. Man, I think those nerves have gone every which way. And now it's going to be a lot for him to make it back here. He rolled into that, what? And that's it, yeah. Not enough Noku juice actually to make it back. And that's Noku taking the set 2-1 in a beautiful turnaround. He basically two-stocked him from that point on. He was at like 130. He got like hit by... Yeah. He got like hit twice. Yeah, I know. Took 15% the entire I last I just swore advantage state. That was great advantage state by Nick. All right. I think I'm going to be having to hop off. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I'm playing. Oh, you're playing? <sighs> Give me good commentary. Nobody here playing. Yeah, I think I'll come back.
Whew. All right, finally done. How's it going, guys? Razor Fangs here. And we got Miles and Zaxel today coming up. Here we go, uh, co commentary. What up, Matt? It's your boy. The attack slips my mind, but I, I, know, I know who you are. Ah. I can't. Razor Fang. Yeah, that's right. I got you. Because like, it slipped my mind, but uh, let's not talk, we're not talking about Razor Fang. I'm looking at Maddie. We're talking about <laughs> Zaxel and Mile. Yeah. The two beasts of the Jurassic era. I hate both these characters. <laughs> but now nah, let's really get into this, though. Um, they're both I'm sick at what they do. Yo! Alright, I was about to say, I was about to be all alone again. Bro, I, I like just got out of here. I want to at least come to like a few matches for this. Right. Yeah. So, um, what we got right here? Oh, combo video starting right now. It's like, I lied. 73% and and hey! Spike! <sighs> Yo, let's go Mile. Mile, but getting that nah, but Zach's, Zach's oh. clapping back immediately? Almost. I mean, he's good at that. Zach's just ledge trapping is honestly yeah. one of the scariest things. And there we go. <laughs> Look at that! Beautiful! Bro, Man. there's no, there's oh like my no God. way he's for not, him to go. Bro, he's, he's not letting him over him. He's not letting him get back on stage. Nah, bro, he's just he's not letting him touch the ground. Not letting him It's like, and it doesn't help that like Yoshiki doesn't really have ways to mix up his recovery either. Right. Because he doesn't have a uh, normal upbeat like everyone else. He's just like, you know, like, relying on the double jump and everything else. So after he uses the double jump, he's just a sitting duck after. He has to like probably fade and air, like try yeah. to time an air dodge. His axe is ready for everything. Yeah, pretty much. Here we go. Um. Wow. Okay, up the out of shield is dumb good. Don't sleep on that move ever. So is Yoshi's there out of shield. Ooh, wait, that fade back down there was yeah, crisp. That was pretty good. Oh my god! That's a, oh, the double jump armor saved him. That would have been a spike. Ooh, okay, nice got the read in the up smash. Miles wow, sick. Right now, Miles has Zaxel in the air. Oh, but Zaxel immediately Why? gets down. Why? Man. Why? That's so tough. He won for being dis in disadvantage, bro. <laughs> Yo, who am I watching right now? What's that dude's name? Am I watching Marshall right now? <laughs> I know for a fact I'm not watching Marshall. I'm watching Jackson, bro. Pop, is, he, is that it? No, Marshall trying to go oh, for the reverse not dunk. It. Not having it. Spikes from the Koopa shell. Zach's taking this. Had to stay control in his palm of his hands and the spikes on his shell. Man, Zaxel is just racking up percentage real quick. Racking up percentage. Mad braids. He's just going for it with the two. Oh, oh my no, God. That's raps. Jump. That's raps. That's, that's raps. Like, oh, my God. All right, Carlos, I'm about to commentate the set. <laughs> oh, damn, that was, that was kind of bad. Like, Mile had a really strong start. He did. And then Zaxel just took it to a whole new level. It's like as soon as Zaxel got that edge guard in, it's just like everything sort of went down. Like, Mile was took in his combos and everything, but he couldn't secure the stock when he needed to. And then when it mattered the most, Zaxel got all the edge guards out. That's one thing. Zaxel's winning in the edge guards game. You'd think, like, Yoshi would have went over Bowser because, like, Yoshi's arrow mobility is actual, like, like god tier. Well, yeah. Almost. You know, besides Peach, it, 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 besides he's, the he's the best in the game. Besides like, Peach, he, you know. and I, Peach, in the air, Peach in general is just uh, <laughs> gigantic. But like Yoshi is like Yoshi's aerial mobility is just like crazy good. Two, one, go. Uh, anyways, Kalos. Kalos, very interesting. Probably high. Uh, I don't know why he picked this game. But I need to ask why. But uh, this day, oh, he picked the Encalus music. Mm. I see before, I told Ice that this song wasn't that good compared to the rest of them. But I lied. This song's kind of hot. Kind of yeah. hot. <laughs> it's like after all, like you listen to the other tracks, and it's like, oh man, you know, I'm just getting pretty tired. But oh, wow, why is Bowser forward here so damn good? He, he, it's always the wow. Like it started off, reacted to it. He reacted to it perfectly. Down smash, but it doesn't matter because Bowser has heavy armor. So if your move doesn't do a lot of percent or just enough, it just doesn't work. Just goes through it, right through it. Eats it up and then goes right back at it. All right, but has him in the air. All right, not the Miles, strong hit. Exactly where he wants him. Nice, keeping back, keep preventing oh. him from touching the ground. But do you want to do that? No punish on that either. Wow, this guy is just throwing out moves. Zach is throwing out a, probably a, that was definitely a miss input. You saw the frustration on Zach's face right there. Oh my God, down it. Look, these went from six to thirty-seven. Damage. Racking it up. Nice, nice. Look at like, the chase. The tech oh, chase. That was so smart. Up air, doesn't get the, yeah, doesn't get that. Let's go, Mile. All right, just popping him with the eggs real quick. We yep. have the confetti. Trying to get, trying to keep him uh, float. Mm -hmm. That's where Bowser's weak. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping Bowser in the air is such an underrated strategy. Most people don't want to do it because like, they're scared of Bowser like, coming from above. Oh. Like, suicide bomb. One of the edge guard, but Zaxo pretty good on the recoveries mm -hmm. as well. 
It's not just that. It's more like it's hard to Edgar Bowser. Well, like, Miles going for the dunk, but he had to deal with the shell. That's and true. the shell is a giant hitbox itself. Oh, that's it. Wow, at 130. Why? Oh, he didn't get back up. Hello? Wow. Zax, who, who are you? All right. Watch Zax will just come back from this with I mean, one back I air. mean, I have no doubt that he could do this, but Miles sick too. Don't forget that. That's what true. do I tell you? What do I tell you? Look at that. No, okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. But like, that was no, no, no. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Miles, Miles still sick. Miles still sick. Like that. That was wild. Like the up smash really just like obliterated Yoshi. Mm -hmm. But I got no faith. I got faith in Miles. I have no doubt in my mind. I have no doubt in my head that he can bring. That he can like still win this. Okay. Starting off pretty good. 107 percentage. This is where you want Bowser at. But this is where you want to end this stock real quick. Otherwise, he's gonna start racking up percentage just like that. That's so sneaky. That was crit. First time he used the command grab this, this whole game too. He had Another one! That's it. No, that's not it. And I was close. Good the on mouth part. Now I have to like land versus Zach. Oh! So hard! Oh my! Oh no! And casting with the anti-air. He knew! He knew! He knew! He, he knew he had to land. But like, he also knew the jump's coming up right after that too. Cause like you don't want to be you don't want to be on the ground versus Bowser where it's like he run he runs faster than you mm -hmm. and that and that frame six command grab like that threat is in Miles' head so he's like okay up I enter you it's, it's like, like that he knew he knew he had to jump yeah man Zach's always just, <sighs> man always one step ahead man it's but like but Miles we can't is, count Miles out no we definitely can't but it's like what gets me tight is like Miles in control most of the game. Like most of the game, he's, he's like he's like winning all these exchanges, getting these nice combos in, and he's doing it. But the fact that Bowser is heavy and Miles kill moves are not killing is really just being such a sensor to him. And he's trying for these kills off the top too. Right. Which sucks. You can't kill a heavy off the top like that's not. Especially fun. Bowser, the heaviest character in the game. Big facts. Man, here we go. Fire. Now we got the classic matchup right here. Uh, Miles, Mario, I don't see too much of, but the one time he did pull it out, a UD that I commentated, he uh, he won. Well, right when it mattered the most. I mean, it was either against C or Bobo who pulled out the Mario and it just did work. Mm. Right now, I think it's Arch Nemesis to study the matchup. Yeah. Not a deal with plumbers. Their anti airs. Oh, not my Not enough. Wow. Back air negative on a hit against Bowser. That's, honest to God, awful. Unbelievable. I All right, but here we go. Unbelievable. Just like, it just sucks. Because it's one of your best basic tools and you get punished for hitting it at low percent. That blows. Especially when you're really at a high percentage. Like, you can just easily get just one hit, one or two hits, and Bowser, you know, just takes your stock just like that. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. Back here coming out. Back here, like, fastest as fast. It seems as fast as Falco, but it's not as strong as it's, though. Oh. Happy. Can kill really early. Nah, that's right not going out. Going for the grab, but somehow missed it right there. That's a good one of his own. Throwing with disadvantage. Not landing, not, not landing much. Oh, oh my god. god. The so grab, dumb, but he doesn't know. He does it. He just oh does my it. Oh no! Wow, I thought the wall jump was, a, was about to be enough. Zaxwell just wants to end this right now. He doesn't want Miles to get any momentum right now at this point because we know Mario. Mario can get it with those up air combos. Mm -hmm, he can get the ladder combos, but the ladder combo at this stage is kind of harder because like you know, Mario is better off with the platforms for extensions. But like these platforms have the size. Like he can work with it, yes. Just like that but right now. Here we go. See if you like risk, if do the middle platform right there, you get a zero deduction. Probably. Ooh. Dunk him. Another oh, one. One for another one. one. What for? Oh. Four smash, but not the sweet spot. Zach, can we get that flood? No. Yeah. What's the ledge one? No. Oh my gosh. Zach let's him get on for free. He was beating the neutral get up. That's what Zach was doing most of the time. Oh, God, no. Oh, this is not good for him. again. But up is early. It's pretty good. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. There. Oh, he was about to hit that. Just oh. missed the command grab. Oh too. my. Back airs him? What? Big damage. <laughs> oh my. Fade jump, fade it out, and then the F takes explosion. Dominated three stock in our last game from uh, Zax. Jesus Christ, he made, like, Miles playing that well, but then Zax just clutched it. I know, he's just. All right. I, I, I love to stay on comedy, but I got match, I got a Buster Bracket match to play. So, y'all probably see me in Losers Finals and Grands. All right, peace out. All right, here we go. Oh, man. God. Voxel. Miles was playing was playing pretty good, like like no lie. He he just obviously you know a couple reads from Zaxel and you know as Bowser you know he's got those heavy hits and basically you know you're just gone. There's no hope. Absolutely none.
Okay, here we go. So, which is... Is this loser semifinals? Alright, cool. So, Ralphie and Noku. Ralphie, you know, a couple characters he's got up his sleeve. The Palu. Oh. The Palu. The Wolf. Uh, who else does he play? Joker? No? No Joker at all? Okay, so just... All I know is two characters off the top of my head. Hey, what's up? Salad? Salad dressing. Here to co-commentate with me. Oh, sick. Hello, I'm salad dressing. Hello, salad. So, uh, what do you know about these two characters, uh, Salad? Because I know you've played a lot of sets against Noku, and you know you can you can really just see like just the way he plays and how he like gets gets in and you know takes stocks. Right. Well, left and right. It's definitely gonna be Pokemon Trainer Ralphie. I glanced over at some of his matches, and apparently he was playing Palo. I I I didn't know he had a Palo, but. I mean, he's got a Palu. He's got the wolf. The obviously. wolf is. I feel like, because I think they played in winners. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I believe I wasn't here for that one. Did Ralphie win that one? I believe so. Uh, no, I think Noku. Wait, Noku. Oh, he oh, won. Okay. Wow. So okay. yeah, Noku took that set. Um, it was pretty close though. It was very back and forth, and it was Wolf versus Pokemon Trainer. So we might see the same. We might see the Palu. Yeah. Although I'm not, I'm not too sure how the Palu Pokemon Trainer matchup goes. I think it might be. It might be in Palu's favor, to be honest, because yeah, just like Palu has those. Um, she's got those back airs. She's got you know yeah. everything she needs. She's got the she's the bread and butter flag. Hmm? Oh, you headed out? Oh damn! Wait. Gone like the wind. Yeah, he still needs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think we're probably gonna see the wolf if we see the Palu. Probably only for one game. Oh, you headed out. All right. All right. Peace out. Uh, but yeah, I think we're in for a very close. Very exciting. Yeah, close. Interesting, and exciting. exciting match. <sighs> Did you happen to catch what stage they picked? Um, I think they just went to PS2, I believe. Unless, Sick. you know, it took them this long to, like, get ready and get set up, you know, have yeah. everything ready to go. Yeah, there's the wolf. Yeah. Um, I think, mm, I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a, either a wolf player or a Pokemon trainer player, so I'm not right, but terribly you sure. But you played against Noku so many yeah. times. Yeah. I think this might be even. I definitely, while I was watching their match in Winners, the Squirtle was putting in, like, a lot of work because of just the frame data, because like Wolf has got like big buttons, but his big buttons aren't like ridiculously fast. Like Nair's like frame seven, Bear's frame seven. Meanwhile, Squirtle's got you know frame data that's like under like frame five and stuff, so he's able to like outbox him. Right. So here we go, a combo of his own, Ralphie. Yeah. Setting up the percent. Wow. More back air. Oh, dash attack. Gets him off stage. Pressure. Oh. The ledge trap. What you got for us, Noku? All right, rolls on stage, but gets punished. Back, back to the stage with you. Has to come back to ledge once again. He's getting, he's getting hit by too many lasers. And he's already at kill Ooh. percent. Already. He's just keeping him on stage like that. Oh, but Ooh. he didn't shield. Oh, he's probably shield stun. It might, it might have shield poke. I'm not too sure. Oh, there's, there's a Noku F smash patented. Ooh, I like that wave ledge. Oh, Chris. All right, back throw. Let's see what he can get off of this. He goes to Ivysaur. Oh, oh it gets interrupted. One of the, one of the there, but um, obviously, you know, Ralphie ain't having none of that. Yeah, and this is this is actually very scary because if Noku doesn't get off this ledge anytime soon, he's in quite the predicament. But he manages to take center stage. Has to try to get it back. Ooh, sour spot bear. Yeah, but still, back on off stage. On ledge. Oh, down it's smash. Yo, down that, smash. Is, that is one of the worst down smashes in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but Noka goes for it anyway. I mean, like, if you got a smash attack, you might as well use it. <laughs> oh, oh, back uh, on stage. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Ralphie. Doesn't time the down smash right. Maybe yeah. a bit unsure when Ibisaur was going to snap. And here we go. Oh, oh up tilt. Beautiful. And he's I knew gone. he was going to jump. <laughs> Catch him with the wings. Charizard does like one out of shield option, like kills them, and it's like, all right, back to Ivy Sword. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you did your job. <laughs> you did your job. You can go back. Ooh. Oh, 
but sent back. Here we go, Charizard. And bye. Noku's got quite the deficit to try to come back from here. Nearly a whole stock lead that Ralphie has. Nothing out of the woodworks, but he definitely has to keep putting on the pressure. And keeping up pressure he is, except yeah. for that forward smash, but not getting punished yeah. for that. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's safe on shield. I'm, I'm not positive. I mean, I'm sure it's not super unsafe on shield, but like... But like, it has to be someone. He's got to try to like, bear out of shield or something. I don't know. Oh, damn. He, he wow. just grabbed him out of the shell. He's just he like, just no, 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 no. <laughs> Get back out here, <laughs> sir. I need to do more damage to you, oh, sir. Oh, this is... I will show you the... <laughs> I will show you the... Uh... <clears throat> Oh, he could attack that. I guess he was... I mean, I didn't okay. figure that was going to come. Did not see that. All right, neutral oh, B. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, fair. fair and just already. like that, just like that. We it, know it's never. anybody's game. We know never to count out any of these players Ooh, right now. Nice roll. Oh, nice petty. Oh, what's he going to... Oh, goes for the grab. Oh, oh, That's oh, it. Fair. That's it. Wow, and just That's like that, crazy. Noku just said... Ralphie, are you are you sitting comfortably? Slow, slow down. On our match? Slow down, kiddo. Slow down, please. Damn. This is my set. That's crazy. I think he got hit at like 80 pre up air. I mean, it is PS2, so it's a low ceiling, but like, god dang. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's explosive. <laughs> Indeed. And here we go. Did they Game run it back two. to PS2? I I keep forgetting the load. Yeah. They it's probably back to PS2. I think both those, yeah. yeah both these players, uh, nearly everybody in like Westchester favors PS2, so. <laughs> and tri state. Oh, wow. that was a nice way. Very interesting exchange Ooh. from both players. I wonder if that F smash two frames. I'm not sure. Ooh, it nice does. down tilt. Just, Ooh, oh, down tilt. Oh, down tilt. Down smash. Oh, oh, okay, oh he gets the grab. Oh, but he goes for the jab. Still on that. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, just to fade back and grab, whiffs it. And here comes Ralphie doing some combos of his own. Oh, but has Ooh. him right now. On, up in the air. Nice pressure on the nice plot. Back there. All right. All right. Blocks all holds, the hits. Yeah. Holds the shield all the way. I think even if it does shield poke, you can probably angle it up so it doesn't shield poke off the top. I'm not sure if that's what he did, but worst comes to worst, that's what you can do. Oh, okay, okay, so forward throw. grabs him. I thought he was going to forward smash because, you know, usually the, oh. the Noku set up. Ooh. And it easy there. Yeah. Wolf's uh, up B goes pretty slow. So it's very easy to time that disjointed there. Goes right. off stage. Laser. At 140. Whoa. 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 He tried to mix it up and, and he got debated got himself. Yeah, it's just Ralphie ain't having none of that. Yeah. You can see right through his eyes. Ooh, that was a nice dash attack to to kind of reset the string. All right, forward air. Not gonna switch just yet. Probably wants him off stage. Then he'll yeah. switch to Ivy Sword. Oh, the meaty up smash. More fairs, up airs. Ooh, this is kind of scary. Keeping yeah, switches to Ivy Sword. Get a little bit more uh, thickness to him, so he doesn't die to like a bear. Starts to bring it back. Both at 80%. Cool. Spaces the fair nicely. Wow. Down smashes and then Ooh. air dodges into the stage. So both players not being able attack. to react. <laughs> oh, that dash. Get up attack was not punished. Yeah. Oh, he does oh, it but again. But this time he's going to punish it. I guess it was the no mix up mix up. <laughs> again. Ralphie can see, but no clue. Has him oh, off stage and the forward smash, the no just like I said. F smash. Didn't do it before, Patent but now it does ending. it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or do. <laughs> oh, the whirlpool. Oh, wow, already that was has nice. him off stage, 48%. Wants to rack just a little bit more. I, and then I love that jab at Legend, it looks so silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Squirtle. I'm here to jab. Oh, may I? And now here we go, Ivy Sword. Ralphie has to be really careful. Wow, it turns up the forward smash and eats, makes it up to 55%. Pretty much can make this up. Yeah. All this takes is one more combo from Ralphie's part. Sure done. Maybe get him off stage one time, hit him yeah. with the down smash or forward smash. He's got to be careful though, because the next time he gets sent up in the air, he's successful oh. too. Ooh. Wow. So Noku. F knew smash. that Ralphie would just like bear it just like that and like yeah. just um, float towards him so that like now he, he took that opportunity to just forward smash him just like that and end it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Noku, Noku's kind of sick. Noku is right now. He's kind of OD. He is. He's making waves right now. This now is definitely. Winner's finals against Mile. That's losers finals. That's I was losers about to final? say because that like the last match was losers semis. Uh, oh, we confirmed this already. I don't know. That's, uh, it, that's what it says up there. I I just, <laughs> I'm just proving I know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is losers finals. Just wanted you to know. Whew. So these two have played a lot. We might see the. Oh. Care. Are you headed out? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. What I'm out of the loop. <laughs> wow! 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 What a guy! What a guy! He's my dad. <laughs> All right, Pokemon Trainer versus Yoshi. Yoshi. I know Mile also has like a plethora of different characters. You know, he's got the Inkling. He's got the Wario. <laughs> I haven't seen this Wario. Wario. Neither, neither have I, but apparently he's got it. Got it locked and loaded, but here we are. Dinosaur versus Turtle. All out brawl on PS2. Alright, hand him with the eggshells. Ooh, that there. Wow! No, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. Okay. Miles. That was like looking I was sharp. Woo. That. <laughs> that up smash hits on the flat? That's that's crazy. Miles just won. Yeah, Miles got momentum right now. Yeah. It is all him. Noki's gotta be careful. Well, no, I've got to be careful. Almost gets hit by the egg. Oh, and there's the Sarah Spot Fair. And gets the stock already. Up a stock and like a hefty lead. Well, not really a hefty lead, but a pretty big lead nonetheless. Yeah, stock lead is a stock lead. Right now, Noku's just got to put up the pressure. And pressure he is. You Can't know, let not Miles let get, get on, started. Yeah, not let him get on um, stage for free. Not let him land. Even though Yoshi's pretty good on air. Like Ooh. we discussed earlier. The F-Tilt clinks with a side B. Oh. Alright, more Rage of Leafs. Up B. Okay. Wants him off stage. Going for that down smash again. But Mile is just... Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Wow, another sour spot. Yeah, that egg, Toy. when you get hit by it, that's a lot of hits done, let me tell you. I can speak from experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Wow, just wait. Oh, waits on shield and then waits just standing. Alright. Noku is just. Alright, so he's just staying on Charizard. He really yeah. wants to stock. Yeah, he's probably trying to wait until he gets a grab or an up smash out of shield. Right now he's just pushing him away with these nares, but. More neutral airs. It's doing damage, but it's Noku's not... two stocks behind wow. him. He can't, he can't afford to oh have these trades. And man, he was. That's the Sour Spot Fair, man. Miles is ferocious off stage. You can't. Yeah. You gotta be, you gotta be wary about that dinosaur off stage. Not letting Noku breathe, not even for a second off stage. You know Th that is where Miles shines best. You know, like right now, like all three of his um, stocks were taken away. Where off stage? But the blast Sour Spot off? Fair. Yo, what's up? Yo, you want to play friendlies after? You're a fraud. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> Local man, lost. Maddie, lost. If I was in round Robins, obviously I would dominate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No questions asked. Anyways, okay, back to this match. Oh, down throw, back air, back air. Switches up the color. Back air. Oh, are we going to get another one? I want to see another one. Oh, down throw. Oh, back throw. Back air? Let me see that back air. Oh, oh. So this is looking like a different game than uh, game one. You know, yeah. no one wants you to forget that game. He wants yeah, yeah, yeah. To right it, it, it didn't really happen. I mean... I think maybe he should uh, stick to Squirtle a little bit more in this matchup. I mean, certainly Squirtle is like lighter, but he has like the frame data to kind of box Yoshi out. But the and damage, is yeah, the damage. Wow. Okay, nice. And Ivysaur in disadvantage is pretty bad, and Yoshi in advantage is really good. So, <laughs> but you certainly got to switch over to Ivysaur if you want them kills. Got to use the whole kit, right? Wow. The whole roster. Another fair about to come out, but no. Um, oh, he's it. in the egg. Oh, he mashes out immediately, but gets the nair. Yeah, Miles looking pretty sharp. Yeah, Miles been on the ball today. Panoka switches to Charizard immediately. Oh, covers it with a but dare. Comes back to Squirtle. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is scary. 
Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh. Spike, but, you know, oh nice, nice up. fade back from Mile. He knew if he tried to immediately go back to stage, Noko was going to be ready with that there, but... My. Mile! He gets hit with the Can Dino Noggin. Like, I know you're... The big head. The big schnoz. <laughs> the Noggin. <laughs> the five head. Oh, man. Oh. Mile just wanted him in the egg. Gets Offstage. knocked out of his double jump. Goes for the dare. Ooh, oh, jab heck. block. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. F tilt. Oh. Eating all the hits. Oh my. Another off stage. All right, nice. Oh, Pokemon this is. Switch. He's got to switch to Charizard. Double jump. Upbeat. There you. There we go. He's finally back on stage, but he's. This is not looking. Another three stocks. But this time, um, most of the stocks. Oh god. Away. Oh god. The skin. The skin is so gross. He's the woolly one. <laughs> That's nightmare fuel. Made you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> Made me feel uncomfortable. It's carpet Yoshi. Ugh. It's the best it's the best color. I don't know, man. The best skin. I don't know, man. <laughs> Alright, but every single time Miles likes to switch, you know, Yoshi colors, so yeah, I don't he doesn't he, want you to think I don't think he, he ever won. stays the same Yoshi color. I could be wrong. But I mean you gotta mix it up. You gotta make maybe it's the color counter pick. You never know. You maybe, never know. Maybe, maybe right maybe, now for blue, he's feeling Maybe blue nice Yoshi's ball. Nair is like maybe it does twenty damage. We don't know. We don't know. I gotta I gotta hop in the Yoshi Discord to find I out. Gets an early jab block. Wow. Oh my Miles picked up. Oh, oh really? he's wagging his tail. Really he's showing wants. he's showing Squirrel he's happy. F so up there. Ooh, swaps. Ooh, down wow. B. Jab one and down B. Okay. Alright. Miles is just on top of Noko, like, like yeah. you, you can't, how is Noko gonna, um, you can't breathe, yeah. you can't, you can't set up shop, you can't cement himself in this neutral too well because he's gotta, he's gotta constantly adapt to the Miles' eggs? aggression, yeah, and the, the eggs, eggs, the, off the eggs, and that, uh, the omelets, it's too much, the dino is, it's ferocious. I don't see how. I think it's Zero's like recent tier list. He put Yoshi in mid tier. I don't know how the hell he's mid tier. That's that's a whack. <laughs> Zero is man. Okay. Zero's got some questionable opinions. He's a great player. He's got some questionable opinions. Either way, either way, Dino versus Plant Dino. Either way, not all hope is lost for no. Clue yeah. Ooh, as, you ooh. Know, he already has him at 95. Could have possibly gone for that up B. People screaming. <laughs> They're cheering for Miles. I mean, right now, he's already dominated Noku. It, it seems like, you know, Noku doesn't have an answer for what, you know, Miles has to offer him. But he's not done yet. Noku is not ready to say the GG yet. He, he's going to keep on fighting. Fighting. Fight till the end. That's how I like it. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, that was a nice there. Oh, but the down beat. Damn. What frame Please is that? don't let this be another three know. stock. No, 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 no. He's got this. He has it. He's got the up smash. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Just oh. wait. Oh, Just no, wait. No, as soon as he lands. Up airs. Up airs. He's Is fine. This gonna... He's fine. He's fine. No, he's not no, he's fine. Dead. He's, dead. he's not fine. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Miles. Miles. Miles is on fire. Someone. So, um, extinguish this man. So, Miles kind of nice. This is more than nice. So, for those who don't know why Zach is popping off, Zach's a side bet with Ralphie that my would three stock Noku oh. again, <laughs> and he fucking did. Wait, Miles all so games? No. You bet all games? Wait, wait, three stock him every game? I think so. They oh were bet. God. Wait, did he three stock him every game? He three stocked him every game, Miles. not even letting him breathe. <laughs> everyone, everyone is che cheering on for Miles. You know. It seemed like last game we saw Noku Real absolutely dominate, and then Miles up. just comes in like nothing and tells Noku, look, I know oh, you're good. Oh, you're on. Go I'm get him, bad. Chief. <laughs> Go get him. This is grand finals. <laughs> Miles, with all that momentum, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. Well, but this is going to be... And then Zax is going to hit that B button, that yeah. fire breath, that he's clean gonna, 30. He's going to hit the B and then the side B, and that's all. Oh, yep. That, it's buttons. a wrap. He's going to nair, and then he's going to press whatever button he wants. Miles, obviously, you know, um, a lot of reads and a lot of hits need to be confirmed in order for him to take these stocks. But for Zaxel, all he needs is a couple of reads. But good, good stuff to Noku getting third. And absolutely, you know, we, we see Noku, you know, he did a phenomenal job, you know, reaching this far 
with such ferocious players. Yeah. Just, just makes it seem like. What? Oh, I was about to say. I was about to get off the. You know, give, give the, give yo, the hype. Man. All right, yo, this is player four in the mic. Um, before this game starts, yo, Zach, so don't start this. I got, I got something to say. Uh oh, here we go. Yo, Noku does not deserve money today. <laughs> what? What? I, I just want, I want you guys to know <laughs> that. Who? Yo, yo, Govinda, Govinda, <laughs> don't give Noku his money. <laughs> don't. If you get nine stock. I mean. Nine. I, I mean. Not th not six. But he didn't. Not three. He didn't let him land. He didn't, no. He didn't let him Bro, land. Bro, he got obliterated. He, like, Noku never entered. Noku left chat is what you're saying. Yo. Yo, pre <laughs> yo press F in chat for Noku. <laughs> this will go down yo, in history, all right? I'm just saying nine stocks. He took three stocks from each Pokemon. Think about okay. that. All right, when you put it like that. It, it makes more sense. Okay. All right, we got we got Zakuza working here. Yo, Sal. Nah, I, I I think my carpool has to go. I'm waiting for my carpool. But yeah. Obviously. I, I'm gonna talk until my carpool leaves. You you can't leave. You're you're about to get this mic back. <laughs> where do you think you're going? All right, all right, all right. All right, right, right. Yo, Zakuza oh. popping off though. True, true. This is why he's in grand finals. But Miles is just, you, you can't stop this man. You're never going to count him out ever again after that last game. Uh, I, I can't count him in. This, this guy has, like, my money. Literally. <laughs> Literally. I, I, like, lost in tournament. 1-0-2. Ouch. But either way, you know, Miles... You know, leaving Zaxel at like 1.30. Yo, Zaxel? Oh, the up smash. Yo, that up smash read, though. But, but he, he's dunking him. Yo, we're about to call him Blake Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Zaxel, another up smash and takes his stock as well. Both at fresh stocks, but Zaxel with an extra one. All right, I like the, the air to airs with the air by Bowser. You don't use these, you don't see that often. But right. he, he's getting beat up. What? What? You let him read you like that? Just, this guy, just, just this guy has you like on an ebook. Just throw it. All right. So it seems Zaxel has a few words to say. Yo, Zaxel like owns a Kindle Light. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy. Wow. All right. All right. Composure. Composure. Okay, here we go. Oh, my carpool left? Cool. <laughs> here we <Bye>. go. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Calm down. Do we need salad dressing back? Or, or, or Maddie? Maddie. Maddie on the mic. Definitely the hype man of it. All right. Here we go. So Zaxel already starting off. With okay, so Zaxel really trying to speed run this stuff because he wants to go home and sleep. Because I'm telling you, this man is clapped beyond belief and he's hype. But Mile, Miles, I, I don't care what no one says. I asked him out before. Are you angry or something? Because you nine stock Noku. I'm sorry, Noku. I'm not gonna let you live down for like a week. Yeah. Like I love you, but like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> Miles, little Jesus. Okay. Nice. Confirming on the egg. Hit. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop talking about this for like a whole a hot ass minute, bro. I, oh. oh my god, Miles is crazy. I'm sorry. This is good. That is gonna be the on the highlight reel. <laughs> Yeet smash. Highlight reel. Yeet smash. Highlight. Highlight history. What are you talking about? In full Westchester history. All right, but Miles combo game right now is literally it's just like up to upper, but like up it's up a heavy. Fair. So three. Look at that. He started and he got 56 on already. Let me see your second update. Sure. All right. Boom. So we in it right now. Um, at game one was literally actually speed ran, but now Miles popping off, getting all these conversions, all off. these reads, Pre not just reads. He's preventing, he's preventing Zach from landing anything. Back it, back right there, landing there. Just staying off stage. It's just new. now Zach. All Zach needs is that one one hit from disadvantage, and then he just converts. So he just land with there, and then just do, then he just win. It's annoying. Wow, he just waited, and then just rolled behind them. That was like amazing. That was scary. I was, I was, I'd be terrified. What? Okay. Okay, that hitbox, please. 
Uh, but I mean, then again, you know, Yoshi does have no. a, the knock. 176, both Gave off the stage, goes up. but both back get back to the scary. side, he misses. No. Okay, wow. nice confirm, nice confirm. Landing back here to up air, that's crazy. I hate that. I hate Yoshi. We got some cheers for Zach. We so got some here for I mean, after you saw that pop up, I, I know. We, we he literally side bet that Mile would nine stock him. Now here he is going to try and body him out. What? What? No, stop that. I don't want to see that. Oh, he's going to keep it going. And okay, side. All right. Hands an even game. I'm not calling this even just because. Not even. No, even it's, not, it's not a game. Not, uh, wait until he hits 50, then it's a game. Okay, now it's a game. Because that's the percent he's starting it, because Yoshi's combos just do that. you heavy. And honestly, Zach doesn't do that enough. Like, up he had a shield, but it's such a stupid good option. Oh, Bowser. I, I think Miles wanted that fair. He wanted uh, that fair. He OD stage. wanted it, but uh, Zach recovered to the stage way too quick. Air dodge. I'll oh, actually grab him. All right, I confirm. Forces actually to jump, get up attack, amazing reach. Oh my, oh my god! Another neutral air. Okay, but stops nice. it and then up air. Oh my god, but it's not Still enough. He's too heavy. Okay, forward smash. Nice. You know, catches him, landing with the back air. Very punishable. Very punishable indeed. Stretches that knock and forward him. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right now, but great out. Uh, great display from Mao right there. Started catching, landing a lot more, and just abusing Bowser and disadvantage, preventing him from landing. Like, how many times did he actually land without throwing out an area? Without throwing out an air? Like, he had, he was forced to throw out an air to land. And then, and then he went to mixing that up. And yeah, well, once he threw that back air, you know, it was just, you know, Kurt. free estate. Free, free, free real estate <laughs> for Miles. Free real estate. I mean, give me that stock. Yeah. Like, game two on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's God. Very. Interesting stage nah, pick. This, this is not. Nah, nah, I'm saying, oh god, this is gonna suck for Miles. Unless Miles can like abuse, because uh, like literally the thing Zach Smith says, small blast zone, small stage, not enough room for Yoshi to run away, and there's just a lot of room for Zach for um, Bowser to box, and probably to trade too. Like a double-edged sword. But you know? double-edged sword. Cause Miles taking this sort of banky thing. Oof. Already has no. about 139, but so maybe this kind of thing was not. A I mean, it's just Miles going off, but that's that's Miles thing. Wow. Okay. Zach's trying to parry. Zach's using parry that, to be honest. Um, he didn't parry that this time. The and back air. To get up straight into the back air. Ba -da -da. Three hits. Oh, three hits, four All right. Okay. Oh, All right, nah. Zach. You're going a bit too deep for that one, son. Oh, my God. The That's damage. So percent. That's so dumb. So free. for another pair. Okay. What? All right. Up pairs. Just wanted to keep the string going and Zach's continue with the damage. Zach's living in this corner right now. Man on a ledge. Can't get off. That's the life of the heavy. Oh, man. Spot dodges. Find, yeah, he finally finds his way back on stage, though. What? I oh, tried it. Zaxxol! Trying to read Miles like a book. But not, not happening. Getting, that, getting the triple up air instead. Up Double air. jump armor saving him. Wow. I mean, he wouldn't have died in front of that one. Uh oh! Uh oh! oh that, that's curtain. Whoa. That, that, that's curtain. So, uh. Mash. Down? Not so, like, was this? Okay. I right, But answer's back, but still. So, I'm still. So, like, I'm heavily. Like, I understand why Zaxxol took the stage, but it's not working out for him at all. Definitely not. Miles is is taking. This. Miles running over him. He just wants. This. He wants that big move, man. He can smell it. He wants that reset. He wants that run back. Like you, you saw how how he destroyed Nova. Like I didn't. Even, I only watched the last game, but it's like Jesus. I mean, he just cut off cut us off at every moment. Every single time we had to. Okay. All right. People getting hyped for Zach. Zach's not out of this game yet. Oh, that's a dunk. It's like. Oh, side speed. Pulls still back on the stage, but Yoshi's still living. This dinosaur slight is heavier than it looks. Yeah. Ezzo uh, right there taking that out. Oh, my. Okay, Zaxel is in a pretty good state right now. All and right. now he has rage. Uh, see, now him having rage is, is off awesome because like, Miles not getting any early kills at all. But that forward smash is going to send him off stage. And this is going to give Bowser more rage. Just, just and now it's all. Okay, no, I saw that Nair and like it's starting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Up smash. Up smash. Get the anti and not enough. Keep, keep him in the air. Oh, nah, but immediately him. does down B. I'll be out of shield to punish that. Now Bowser was ready. You gotta deal with this. Miles has to be really careful. Up there. Otherwise. Nah, you can try and punish the landing. Okay. Catch him with the forward air. Still not enough to kill him. Anything will take his stock. His stock. Max that should be. Nah, okay, there we go. Do it. That's that do should it. be it. Okay. You know, Jesus, I thought he was going to keep you going. Know, I'm about to say, I'm uh, blocking control to stop. He was waiting for um, Bowser's up to end so that he would immediately go for the back air, which obviously is a, a great kill move. It's stupid. And Yoshi's up. back air is stupid. Don't at me. <laughs> He's dumb. Yoshi. Kill confirms. Stupid safe on shield. It's wicked fast. 
kills. Stupid. Why did they buff that move on Yoshi? Yoshi's already annoying as it is. Zach's running it back. Mile up two one right now. Right. Yes. And two one. Miles on one. reset. Miles on reset. Wants the reset. Really oh, wants want that. Get, ooh, ooh, oh. Oh. I like it. Food. I like it. Already for That was so smart. That was sweet, but uh, Zaxo, you know, just one or two hits with that ground pound, yeah. and you know, that was it. Oh my god, Zaxo is nearing that 100% window, but, well, and that's not too bad for him. But look at all this, making good use of his raid, sending Yoshi's cleanly off stage. Oh man. Nice, bait and punish, why don't you come that. in? Knew that would happen. Boy, they're eating the egg and just sending him off! Takes that stop, alright, Zaxo in the lead, and you don't want Zaxo to have the lead, you know, no. Bowser is really scary. Bowser with Rage? Are you joking? That's a nightmare! Especially in the hands of Zaxxel, who's good at ledge trapping. No, he's jank as jank as confirms. Okay, I like what Miles did. He didn't go for another up air because he believed that Zaxxel would probably air dodge. So he went for the down air so to rack up more percentage. But, you know, not really at too bad at a disadvantage. Already at 80%. Yo. What? Okay. I just realized something. That was a really weird exchange. It was a weird exchange, but like I saw it coming. I mean, I saw the death coming. Like as soon as you pull that out, like you sit and shield long enough against Miles, he's gonna go for that. And that I don't. I think people are just like he pokes his shield once, so that once he does that, it's shield breaks. I think. Right. But like something just clicked. Zach's just playing a heavy. I'm playing Yoshi. Miles Yoshi loves coming out the top. That's something heavies are immune against. Right. But you know, Miles can make anything happen. I mean, point. he definitely can. Like, but it just means that like. Because of how he's playing and how his combos work, he just has to work harder. Because he's not getting a free kill on the side unless he edge guards him, which he hasn't really been doing that well. Right. Oh! He knew he was going to jump again. Koopa feet to the dome. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm about just doing that at a disadvantage. Why? Alright, more back airs. Wants to send him off stage. Yo, I feel it. Uh, the crowd. We, we actually have a legit crowd! Oh my what? That killed? Oh my god. That just killed? He charged that oh up my smash god. A down smash. I knew that would kill, but like I thought I thought Miles would live. It was Oh my god, he couldn't get up attack. He couldn't get up attack, that has armor. Oh Oh man, was there I think I mean maybe he could have jumped? That would have caught it. Would he have just gotten off he ledge? Would have to, he would have to jump and like, like get off ledge and then do a beat to like. He would have to jump air dodge, but he might air dodge in the second hit. Yo, he really just have to like dip down and then come back with an up air or something. Oh, like that was the option to do. But like, roll was that that was the actually like the worst option. Okay, so this, this is the match to determine whether or not Miles gets another set with nah, Zaxel. Nah, nah, Miles gonna reset it. It has something that uh, Ankar hasn't experienced in a while. And that's because I haven't been commentating grands. We haven't been experiencing this in a while. Right. Last, like the no, not that last hit. The game ten energy. <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it. The game ten energy. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my god. Man, Miles is all over Saxo. All over him. Like what? On oh, rice? What are you doing in my cupboard, you filthy spider? <laughs> Get out. Okay. So all right. Miles like the raid right now. Zax is a roach. So Miles all over this boy, hunting him down. Oh. He really Slippery, wanted that back Slippery. air. Oh, oh, catches him. About to hit him with the down beat. That was a sick read by Miles. He knew he was actually wanting to jump out of shield. But Zax was kind of with an air. Oh, the fair. Face that move is ridiculous. Almost going to kill. Oh, no. Jump. no. Mm, F2 two frame. That Catch wasn't what Miles wanted. Uh-uh. No, he thought he was going to make it back safely. But that F2 is ridiculous range. I wouldn't say ridiculous. Okay. Power. That was smart. He jumped over the fire breath so he wouldn't get caught by it. And then I immediately like it. I like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, get get some off stage. Oh, no, he didn't I get the dunk hit it. No, he didn't get the dunk hitbox. Just just, just off. got the sour spot. That would have worked too. Alright, has Keeping Bowser in disadvantage, but then Jackson landing with that. Landing there. Oh, 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 and he wanted it again. Nah, 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 nah. Wanted to Miles take. not getting hit by that. Take Miles home. Nah, Miles taking the set too. I actually forgot about the Encore Game 10 curse. It's been uh, it's been a while. Oh Whoa! my god, that was such a risk. That was ballsy. That was really? That was ballsy. He took that damage. So next hit will probably yeah, kill. Game yeah, it's gonna Except be game for that. Up B. Nah. Not killing. But Forward get right it there, off there, stage. Kill. And go with we that got an even game right now. Could go anything. Maybe the game 10 can be prevented. 
I don't know, man. We didn't have Ralphie and Grants today, so we don't. I don't think. I think we are. We're not. We are going to see a game ten probably. He's just. Oh my God! Him. Great the combo, combo coming in. The more damage you give Bowser, the more, the more damage he can diss right back and end your stocks earlier. Oh my God! Nair out of shield. You need reads. Go for it. You need reads. We need a Christmas miracle. Oh, the you cannot armor. hit that intangible. Oh, oh no! Oh my goodness. No. What? 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 What, what is happening? What, what? What? Both players are really nervous right now. Oh, he just ran into his shield. Coming in with the four there. Going the for the dunk. Mal really wants it, but Zach's not giving it to him at all. Oh, no. next. Oh, Going for that. Yeah, he got it. it. No, 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 no. Bowser's heavy. Nair. One more edge guard will do it. Yes. Back here doing it. Mal got the reset finally. Let's go, Mal. Miles. We're not going home yet. Yo, Ryan. 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 We need Fred soon to make like a so like a, a post that says "Game Tenergy," <laughs> whenever we feel it. Game Tenergy? Question mark? Game Ten? Is this? Yeah. It's gonna be Game Ten. The hype is. The hype is on course. Uh, nah. nah. The hype is on course. Set. I can't remember. Oh, honestly, for me, I think it was like Salad versus Zaxxel a while during Pound Weekend. Oh. Game Ten. That was sick. That was. Oh my God! That was so good to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I was at the edge of my seat. Me and I was super hyped. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't here for that. That was the monthly. Didn't that go like an hour? Nah. Ah, uh, the longest. Then it was winners set. finals, and then then grand. Ling Ling reset it, right? But since you took it, right? Ling took it. Oh, oh my god! Wow. Okay. But here we go. We're but, in hold this on, hold on. Loop. I just want to talk about this. You see what happens when Mile doesn't use the fuzzy colored Yoshi? Takes games. Yeah, he's not just taking any resets against Axel. That's hype. Whoa! Uh oh. And happens to the worst of us. Okay. It happens to everyone. It happens. Bro, it, it, ha it happened to me today. It, it bro. Ah. Oh. Smashes on the other side. All right, now Zax is going off. But hey, this is just game one. I'm telling you, it's game ten energy, bro. Zax will deny it. I hate like that. this. I hate this. Hold on, I just want food. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hey, yo, who got food? I smell that. Hit. Oh, and the town smash. Oh, yeah. Killing Miles, taking that second stock. Forward smash. All right, beautiful. Already had two stocks each, but Miles is already at 105, so that you already know what's going to happen next. Either we're going to see some back airs or some side Bs. And just like All that. Right. All right. All right, back in this. I'm sorry. I'm just really hungry. I'm thinking my stomach. And Zach just thinking with the claws. That was top five, I agree with you. He's catching, he's he's catching all these claws right now. Oh, gee, not doing anything. He's just bop. He's saying I am the true ruler of the Jurassic era. It's out of there with the armor. Up it's still not a safe po it. It's like no poke. I feel like no poke is safe against Bowser just because of that up the out of shield. Oh like you my. can't do just that. Do and it. Then finally do What kind of anti-air option was that? That was freaking wild. You know Yoshi always hit. wants to land, you know, always wants to get those combos I set up. I see that smite. I know. Oh my goodness, but uh, alright. So game one. My bad, game six, going to Zax. Game one, we're taking the FD. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like this. FD, man. I don't like this. A lot of room. Well, I don't like this. I say I don't like this just because in terms of landings, Zach like, Mal, like juggling is gonna be easier because there's not many platforms for, um, for Bowser to escape to. Right. But Zach has just been so on point with punishing Mal for just wanting to touch the ground. Exactly. Well, so I don't feel it. But then I'm not the one in Grand, and I'm not as sick as Mal, so I, I don't know what the point was in picking the stage. But I feel like Zach could take this and run with it. Oh, he wanted it. He wanted it, it again. Was close, it was close. But Miles went on off stage. Yo! On ledge. Crazy. All right, stop it. All right, get Miles, off of him. Miles, like, I don't know what he's doing to stop these nares from doing anything. He's either double jump canceling, like he's like double jumping soon the nair hits, or like he's doing a parry or something. I don't know. It's just run up and up smash. Just. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Is that what? The f Why? Axel is just. He's got the reads. He just. He just has them. It gets me so angry that he just. He's throwing that out, like not, but he's not throwing it out. Like that's the first time he threw that out, but like he just did it, did it, and it worked. All right, Miles, stop. Like you're sick, but you're not, you're not, re you're not regain God's action. Like, like, I, I love you, bro, but like no. It's like you like, don't, uh, you don't ever want to be 
in the air with either of these characters. Nah, I, I'm I'm fine being in the air against Bowser, but not against Yoshi. I'm not I'm not contesting Yoshi in the air, and this is why I suck. Cause I'm a very aerial based oh, player. Hello. Oh, All right, he has high percentage of ledge invincibility. He runs out quicker. Back to looking for some jank. Another what I told, you, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. He's looking for some jank. He was ready to land with the nah, air, no, 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 but I want the armor. I'm sorry, I want hands with Zaxo after this because you can literally do any other thing to do that, to like anti-air, right? But the up smash? And I hate it more because you can't challenge the up smash, especially from above. Like if you try and hit him from above, you're going to clank with it. No matter, you're gonna, your move is going to clank, but it's still going to go what? through. The wow! The smash caught him? Axel, the two games just needs one more. So I'm, uh, the Zaxel. game's energy, no, no, the game's energy is still here, but like he needs to stay motivated. He can do this with Yoshi. He, he like, definitely can. FT, I'm telling you, I told you, I told you from the start, FT was not the pick. FT was not the pick. He needs plats. He needs. Pl oh, but he goes back. I think. Milo, please prove me wrong. Miles, oh man, he just armors through it and he prays up to the, there. Up Miles, it please, again. Prove me, please prove me wrong. I'm sorry, bro. Like, that's it. Like, your your, your, your juggles are so good, but like, FT doesn't have a high ceiling. Oh, that might be why he's picking it. Ceiling FT isn't that great. It's not high. So he, his combo will probably kill earlier, but it's like, the same can be said for Zach's up smash. Cast him out with a as a beautiful anti air. Oh my god, what? this is scooping up. Frame six, bro. Frame six. You extend the hitbox out, that grab is scooping you up like you ready to scooping fair, you up, bro. Like an ice cream spoon. It's scooping you. Oh, what? He oh, he ready to get grab. another one. And frame he goes six for coming in again. That's so dumb. But nice DI from Miles. Great DI, staying alive. Oh, but then another doing one. it again, and that's it. It's so tilting because, like, at low percent, you're conditioned to shield against Bowser because, like, all of his moves are like the super but drawing, coming with Nair and all that. And then. High percent. You have to not shield against Bowser, but it's scary for not shielding against Bowser. You're gonna get a hit with a stray move, and it's like it's like a weird mix-up that Bowser has by just playing. Oh, another shield break! Oh no! Is Zaxel? No, no, it can't be. He cannot three-stock Miles. Okay, good. All right, Miles, you need to stay calm. You can do this. He just needs to keep Bowser up in the air, and again one. I have been doing that all game, but it's just like he gets all the percent, but it just gives Bowser raid. The problem with Mal right now is that he has he's not he can't successfully close out the stock before Bowser before Zaxel can close this out. Because Zaxel's taking all this rage and he's blowing him up for a little look at this, he's not kill percent of red. All he just needs oh one smash and accurate edge guard and Mal's dead. If, if this was the, if the situation was reversed, oh. reverse, Maya would need like 50 more percent to get a kill on Zaxel because he's not getting the edge guards in the way he wants to. Oh my is he another? Nah. Oh, that was Maya was so not close. Rolling into that. The dare? Nah, nah Zach's second that. Oh, uh, no, I that's it. it. I respect Is that it. That's it. I think that's, that's it. it. No, that's no, not it. No, good DI. Good DI coming from Mile. No, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, but the ups. It's good to get. He could he bring his throw. back, but like, it's, it's going to be super hard. It's he gonna might gonna throw up hard. smash or a side B. It just, uh, or maybe just F tilt. Not over, it's over. Up tilt? Okay. Nah, down okay. B. I see it. I fuck. All I like that. I like that. Let's go, Mile. Let's go, Mile. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, this is super scary for Miles. It's super scary for me too. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, my anxiety is like. Oh, super no, awesome. that's it. And Zaxel takes it. Game eight. Game eight. Takes it with the 3 0. Grand finals reset. I, told, I said it, bro. I said it from the start. FD was not the pick. FD was not the pick. Zaxel's been trapped in this land. It's all game. All set! <sighs> Zaxel just. It's. I, Mile! Mile! Why'd you stay FD? Why did you pick a different stage? Ah, bro, I said FD was worse. He's trapping the landings like so good. Okay. Oh my god, but yo. Uh, let me. I'll talk about that set later. Jesus Christ. But let's talk about Encore. Not finally putting in the under night. Let's go. I love that game. That game is sick. That game is sick. Where's Samurai Showdown? Yo, 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 yo. yo you want? You mean footsies? I want. Ah! Show that monkey 
Shadow Rage. Oh, yeah, though. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunday, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, this Sunday. Yes. We got the monthly for Encore coming in, and winner gets a free venue and hotel for Defend the North. So definitely come out. Mad heads are going to be into this. I hope it's a Sunday. So much. Who? Oh my god. Oh. oh. Bro, this is like gonna be like the. I don't think DTN has ever been this stacked for Smash. Never has. Never has. So this is gonna be hype. Come down to this and see if you can win and compete with the greats. Alright. Boom. Uh, volume. I'm, I'm still gonna see if I can come out to this. Um, also, the road to Uncle, we already had. Uh, I think every other of these events have had one. Other than yeah, Melee and Ultimate, Ultimate, yeah. Ultimate. Melee is going to be this Saturday, and Ultimate is going to be Sunday. So definitely come through those. Um, Tekken, Street Fighter, Undernight, Mortal Kombat, and Fighters have all had their winners, and all of them are sitting happy, ready to defend the North spots. You better go to that monthly. Almost Ready? I'm, wait, I'm, fin I'm running ads. What? I'm running ads. Yeah, it's running ads. All right. So yeah, I got to do this. And then, go. ooh, uh, and let's not forget. 3K? Yo, pull up to defend the North, bro. <laughs> because I might not be going because I got work and I like the money I make there. But, like, bruh, 3K pot for what? It's in Manhattan this year, which means it's much more accessible for a lot more people. I miss it. Be PGO C2? Oh, let's go. Let's. It could reach B if it gets enough entrance. Oh. So definitely pull up to this. This is probably, like, the biggest defender North has been for Smash. Like, usually we cap, like, the most I've ever seen was like 120 back in White Plains. But now we get this much. Let's go. Let's go. And let's not forget, every Thursday here at Encore, we have the Smash Ultimate Bracket. Huh? Um, Tilt Stick and L's Jump, and I have. Yeah, I have everything else to save except Tilt Stick and L's Jump. Alright, and Hot Sensitivity. But anyways, um, we got this. We got a Redemption Bracket. So if you even if you go like 0-2 or 2-2 or lose before you lose round three, you get a second chance to win, to play, win around win around Robin, and also um, get a free venue. Yes, you get free venue. But yeah, nah, pull up to Uncle. It's a great place. Bring your grandma, bring your kids. We got couch here for the grandma. We got a lot of computers and game here for the kids. Everyone have a good time here, man. We even got Fortnite for the kids. Like they love that trash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate Fortnite, bro. I hate that game. I gave it up. It was. Uh, fun. Alright, that's it. Uh, Encore Esports. 538 Main Street in the second floor of the Sea Town. I am Local Man Maddie. And I am Razor Fang. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs>